three athletic trainer, cheerleaders, and student council. On behalf of both schools, we welcome you to tonight's game. Good job, GSL. We're going to direct your attention now to the Keeper of Mustang helmet. Now you'll see our little Mustangs, future Mustangs. Here they come, the King of the Mustangs. Watch them go. Our future Mustangs, there's all of you are Mustangs. Ladies, the eyes are not cheerleaders. If you come on down the field, run your pants out here. We're going to have to do them later. So, cheerleaders, you can go ahead and line up on the field. We'll do your introduction. We're going to have to come back to your band, ladies. Mic test. Mic test. One, two, three, four, five. Mic test. Mic test. One. Two, three, four, five. Mike Tess. Mike Tess. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll direct your attention to the visiting side of the field and let's meet the Eisenhower Eagle Varsity Chillingers. They're under the direction of Tamika Clark. First sophomore, Janae Kelly. Sophomore, Patty Jackson. Juniors, Jayla Amos. Logan Figgins. Javavia McKenzie. And Madison North. Senior Captain, Sharnice Abs. Captain, Jody Cook. Captain, Desiree Vera. Jaya Banks, Shatera Francis, Jatel Johnson, Jess Mountain, and Asia Randolph. The Eisenhower Eagle Girls. Junior, Kendall Fisher. Senior, Sophia Graves. Sophomore, Daniela Hernandez. Junior, Alia Jimenez. Thank you. 
Officials for tonight will be referee Eddie Kelly, umpire Greg Adams, head linesman Brian Perry, line judge Glenn Branch, back judge Daniel Young, field judge Benjamin Mozingo, and our side judge Bonnie Wright Jr. On the game clock, Don Carpenter, play clock Richard Olmstead, the box Yvette Machetti, chain one Elvin Mays, and chain two Brian Atkins. Check grades or read about school activity or whatever, or whatever you find in the moment. Now use now when you're standing in line at the store or waiting to pick up a child from an event, you can skip the MLSD website and the mobile map app for information affecting your family. Hello, everybody, from Turner Field in Humble. Alongside Burt Brocker, I'm Jeremy Brand. I'm happy to have you with us on this Thursday night of Houston High School football on Texan Live. Good one for you tonight. It's the Kingwood Mustangs, 1-2 and two on the season. Take on the Eisenhower Eagles, also 1-2. and two. Those records, Bert, a little deceiving. You look at the, the schedules that they've played. The Eagles lost by two points against a very good Hightower team. They beat a College Park team, lost to a spring team who was 14-7 by a score. As the Kingwood Mustangs run out of the field right now, look at their schedule. Katie, Klein Collins, and then getting in the win column last week of the victory over Frenchwood. Yeah, and last week, you know, they were down big at halftime. They were down 28-7. to seven. We actually had that game and then came back and won 35-34. to 34. So looking for a confidence builder, that definitely had to be that because, like you said, Katie, number two ranked team in the state, and then you go to 
right to next to Klein. Klein Collins, and the Tigers are – that's a murderer's row right out of the gate. But, you know, as Coach Campbell and all coaches say, you know, you want to play good teams, kind of get a feel for where you're at, and then get ready for your district matchup. This is the last non-district game here tonight. So it'll be a good game. Uh, both teams, a lot of speed. So be interesting to see how it plays out. And then, of course, next week everything goes into district. Yeah, Eisenhower out of District 18-6A last season, 5-1 and one in that district. Uh, they were tied for Memorial and Davis for the district lead. They went 8-3, went to the postseason. So that gives you an idea of the talent uh, that Coach Bamberg has with those Eisenhower Eagles. Coach Campbell, he was on the, the wrong side of the tiebreaker a year ago, but people forget that, that they were right there tied for fourth place and knocking on the door of a postseason appearance just a season ago. Yeah, and, you know, and that came down. Uh, Kingwood got hot last year the last part of the season and had an opportunity to get in there, unfortunately they had the Woodlands as their last game and they played them really well throughout that game unfortunately come up a little bit short but uh, like I said good team a lot of speed of course they won the uh, relay last year by a matter of they beat Manville who was ranked number one I think in the world and they literally beat them by a baton and uh, it, you know it was a phenomenal finish so should be a great game here tonight. Yeah, Eisenhower Eagles making their way onto the field. And, you know, we have this opportunity each and every week to be out at Turner Stadium and a great hospitality they provide us. So it's a great venue uh, to watch a football game from, and that's the reason they, they play so many postseason games here as well as neutral site affairs and things of that like. The ROTC about to present the colors. We'll step away for the National Anthem. When we come back, kickoff. It's the Kingwood Mustangs and the Eisenhower Eagles on Texan Live. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the middle of the field as our colors tonight are presented by the Kingwood High School Naval Junior ROTC under the direction of Captain Pitch and Master Chief Banks, Naval Science Instructor. On the American flag, Alex McGuffey, the Texas flag, L.J. Walter, right rifle, Chris Bridgewater, and left rifle, Heather Polinski. At this time, we ask that you all rise as we honor America, our flag, and our brave servicemen and women to protect our freedoms with the playing of our national anthem by the King of High School Marching Band. Back at Turner Stadium in Humble, north side of Houston with Burt Brocker, Reed Harmon, I'm Jeremy Brand on the Eisenhower Eagles, 1-2 and two on the season, uh, trying to find some momentum as they open up District 18-6A play next week. Same thing for the Mustangs, except a different District 16-6A, and they'll be at Oak Ridge on Saturday. That's nice for the Mustangs. You play a Thursday in your final out of district game. You don't play again until next Saturday for your first district game, and while it's not a bye week, a lot of days in between there, and you have a chance to get rested up for your first district opener. Absolutely, and as we know, that's a tough district that uh, Kingwood's in, the Humble Independent School District, so they need every every second to recoup and give them an opportunity to get ready for, you know, when it really matters, because once you get into district, that determines who goes to the playoffs, so important to start getting those wins there. So the captains for the Mustangs and the Eagles out there with the officials as they uh, go over the, uh, the handshakes and uh, go over the coin toss as the officials... Can hear a little Eagles bit of background. Eisenhower's the business, they're going to call the top. What you got, Captain? What do you say? Let's see what we have. All right, we got a tail. We all agree? 
Your choice. Uh, the Eagles have won the toss. You want the ball. Which way do you want to kick? They'll defer to the second half. The Mustangs will get the football first. And the Eagles will defend the goal to our right. So the Mustangs will get it first. They'll move it left to right as you watch from home. The Kingwood Mustangs in the home navy blue uniforms tonight with the white numbers, the baby blue Columbia trim. Outside the numbers and the letters, the navy helmet with the K logo on the side of the helmet. The Eisenhower Eagles across the field from us will be in the visiting white uniforms, black pants, the black numbers, and the gold trim. So these two teams played a season ago. The Eagles won 14 to 10. The Eagles were down 10 nothing entering the fourth quarter. They would come from behind and get the victory. Kingwood sure has some of that taste, the sour taste in their mouths. They'll be looking for redemption last game, or last year's game at Thorne Stadium. This one at Turner. The Mustangs will be looking to defend their home turf. The renovated Turner Stadium. I know it's been a couple years. First time I've been back at Turner Stadium since it's been renovated. And it is a gorgeous venue for football. We talk week in, week out around the city of Houston. You, you cover the greater Houston area, and boy, you're rewarded with some beautiful football stadiums every single week. Well, and that's a nice part. TexanLive.com actually has the audio and the video rights for Humble Independent School District this year, all sports. And then we also have New Caney and Katy, and also we picked up Paraland. So, we have over 55 schools. We're doing some out of Cypher. Matter of fact, we got a live game tonight from there. We have Klein. We have Spring. We have Galena Park. I mean, the nice part is, and every Friday night, and I'm going to let you tell a little bit about it, every Friday night on Fox Sports Southwest, now there's a live Houston High School wrap-up show. Tell us a little bit about that, Jeremy. Every single Friday night, you, you can tune in on uh, Fox Sports Southwest from 11 to midnight. It's tomorrow for the Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive, Howard Chen, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, and Courtney Madden. Have you covered this Texan Drive from 11 to midnight tomorrow on Fox Sports Southwest presented by Texan Drive. So about to get this one underway, Pasha's Charlotte Lombos will get set to kick it off to Griffin Lay and Shawu Olalulu. <laughs> we'll get it as we go along. It's a pooch kick, and it's headed to the way of Griffin Lay, who'll catch it three yards deep on the end zone, far side of the field, takes it outside to the sideline, trying to cut back inside, and he's wrapped up and brought down near the 15-yard line, a return of 15, and that's where Kingwood will get started. First and 10 at their own 16, led out by the quarterback of the Kingwood Mustangs, leading his 11 on the field. Dawson Trudell is the quarterback. Shea the running back, will be blocked up front by Damon Young. Griffin Lay is the flanker, receiver's Chase Evans tied in Ellis Eckberg. The offensive line from left to right, Alec Cruz-Turner, Luke Vodders, William Balbub, Parker Coogan, and Zach Alexander. We'll get to the defense in just a bit. So the Mustangs will have it first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. Under center is Trudell. Trudell pitches it out, running it on the near side is Young. Young with a blocker in front, gets it across the 20-yard line into the 21. It's a pickup of five yards on the first play from scrimmage. Oliver did a nice job there making the tackle downfield, but still a nice game by the Mustangs right there. So it's going to put them in a very second manageable down here. Second and five of their own 21. Ball moves over to the near hash. Trudell under center. He's got two backs behind him, Young and Shewu. Trudeau under center. Drops back, looks to throw. Over to the left side, he's going to throw it deep to the numbers, and it's incomplete. Flags fly. Intended receiver to the numbers on the outside was Griffin Lay, who returned the kick. Interference, safety Elijah Haywood. His two, fag, two flags are down, and it will be an automatic first down for the Mustangs. Move them up 15 yards. Well, and that's the difference in the Mustangs' that's offense. That's they are not afraid to throw the ball downfield there. So, lay, you know, he had a step there. Defender was in good shape, but unfortunately he didn't turn his back back to the ball and interfered there. So that'll be 15 yards and automatic first down. Haywood was in the vicinity. They call it, though, against Arzell Austin, the senior corner. The Mustangs pick the hash on the near side. Takes him out to the 36-yard line. 11-17, just getting underway. First series of the game for the Mustangs. Trudell, junior quarterback, 19 of 38 on the season, 319 yards, a pair of backs behind him. As Young and Shewu back there as well. 
Handoff goes. Shewu off to the left side, off tackle, cuts back inside to the 40 and falls forward to the 42 43 yard line. The official mark. Terrence Oliver, middle linebacker, bringing down Shewu, who's off to TCU after the season. Four star commit for these Kingwood Mustangs. Yeah, and he's going as a linebacker. And uh, as of last week, he started playing running back. He's actually up for player of the week, had a great game last week. And right there, very patient, waiting on his blockers to set up. And then cut back upfield for a nice gain right there on first down. 164 yards on 17 carries and a score a week ago in the victory over Friendswood, 35-34. to Second and three at the 43. Receiver in motion, pitch out to Lay. Lay over to the near side. Trying to cut it back inside to the 45. Might have gotten a yard past the line of scrimmage before Ernest Anderson, junior middle linebacker, crashes the party and brings Lay down for a pickup of a couple. And that was a nice job right there by Anderson because that play was set up. There was blockers out front. He did a nice job of knifing through right there and making the tackle. It looked like they'll give him about two yards, so to bring up a third down and one here. 10-10 and counting, quarter number one, no score. Dawson Trudeau under center. It's third down and one at their own 45. Quick quarterback sneak. Trudeau has the yardage Got and four. Cuts outside of the numbers, 40. Looking for the sideline, 30, 25, and he's forced out of bounds, chased out of bounds without any contact. It was the safety, Elijah Haywood. He ducks out of bounds at the 25-yard line, a pickup of 30, and a Mustang first down on the third one. And he was part of that relay team I talked about pregame. A bunch of speed, but looks like there'll be a holding call, so we'll see where it was at. Looks like the holding call is going to be called around the 45, so they will. Let's see where they put the flag down out. Yeah, it's going to be spotted from the 45 of Eisenhower, so it's a 10-yard gain before the flag. Now you back them up 10 yards, and it's going to be the same down and distance, third and one for the Mustang 45-yard line. You know, and Coach Campbell, those are the kind of mistakes right there that you just shake your head. That was downfield. You had a first down, and you just hate seeing that. But you, you, you can't necessarily get on your receivers for trying to make a block downfield to get him to the end zone. So you just uh, you hate to see a holding call, you know, negate a big play like that. We'll do it again. Third and one. Mustang 45 between the hashes. Dual backs behind Trudell. Takes the snap. Quarterback keeper right up the middle. Fights for second yardage. Trying to go for the outside. It's going to depend on the spot. He got past the line of scrimmage, but did he get to the 46-yard line? Well, he's holding one up. They're so. moving the chains. First down Mustangs. Picked up a yard, that's all he needed. And the Mustangs will continue to move those chains. Third first down of the series. 9.42 and counting in the first quarter. Mustangs nearing midfield at their own 46. Trudell will drop back into the shotgun, and he has Young to his left shoulder. Two receivers each way. Trudell waits for the snap, takes the snap, drops back to throw, throws on the left side on a slant, throws it behind his receiver incomplete. He was looking on the left side for Shea Pass just a little bit behind him right there, and very fortunate that ball didn't ricochet off. It's real close to an interception there. Second down and 10. Mustangs have it at their own 46 near side of the field. You mentioned the Mustangs down last week. They were down 21-7 after the first quarter. Coach Campbell will want a better start tonight against Big Ike. Trudell under center, two backs behind him. It's Young and Shewu. Fakes the pitch, handoff Shewu on the counter. Connor off the left side, breaks a tackle with the 50, falls forward into Eisenhower territory to about the 47-yard line. Hanging on for dear life, Elijah Haywood coming from that safety spot to bring him down at the Eisenhower 47. It's a pickup of 10 yards on the play. Actually, it's going to be about eight right there. So bring up a third down and we'll call it, well, actually it was seven. Call it third down and three here. Bad math on my part. Third down and three. Into Eisenhower territory for the first time tonight. 8.50 and counting first quarter. Ball between the hashes. Trudeau will start in the shotgun with a back to each shoulder. Young to his left. Shaywood to the right. Trudeau the snap. Handoff. Shaywood off tackle left side across the 45. Has the first down 40. Cuts inside 30. Flags flies. He will cut in between the hashes to the 10 5 and will tiptoe into the end zone. But flags are all over the place. There's one at the 35 and another at the 39. I think Haywood did a really nice job there of selling that he was being held. Looked like he clearly was being blocked and then he did a great job of throwing his hands up and uh, got the call. But there still was another holding downfield that would have brought it back. So. Great job by him of uh, selling that as a uh, holding call there. 
So second time they've had a third down conversion called back for a holding. The previous time they were still able to pick up the first down on the same exact play. This time they'll back them up to the Eisenhower 49. Bring up a third third down and five here. A 29, quarter number one. No score. Mustangs have the football. It's the first drive of the game. They started the drive at their own 16. It'll be the 10th play of the drive. 8.29 to go here in the first. Trudeau out of the huddle, go under center. Young right behind him, and Shea Wood to the right side of Young. Two receivers to the near side, twin set. Got man here. Trudell rolls out right side, looking to throw. Now he'll tuck it, look to run. Cuts outside to the sideline, leans forward. That will not be enough. Markham shy of the 45-yard line. He might have got a yard or two, and the Mustangs will be facing a fourth and short. That's when he'll probably look at the uh, film study and see he had lay broke free right there on a drag play and just missed him. A pickup of a pair, and it's fourth and three. The Mustangs will send on Robert Amar, the fullback. They'll go heavy here. They bring in some size. Play clock at 14, still in the huddle. Big boys in the backfield. Three back set. Shea Wu behind them all. Bobble the snop, handoff Shea Wu. He's got the tackle, breaks off a Whoa. man across the 40. And a shoestring tackle after absorbing a big blow as Malik Robinson hung on for dear life and was able to <laughs> grab him by the shoe and keep him out of the end zone. Pick up of eight yards to the 39. First down Mustangs, and again, the drive stays alive. And he clearly was the last line of defense right there, so a nice tackle. Way to stay with it when you got a big boy like Sewu running downhill right there. Dual back set behind Trudeau under center. Twins left. Ball in the near hash. A bunch of movement up front. The ball falls down. Fa flags fly. And this is going to back the Mustangs up five yards after the motion penalty. So that'll back them up to the 44. Offense, number 76. Five-yard penalty. Beat first down. <laughs> <laughs> 8.03, clock ticking. First down and 15, the Mustang 44. One receiver set, split out to the left side, lays in motion, bobbled the snap again, the ball falls to the turf, and Dawson Trudell just lays on top of it. They're going to lose a few yards on the play. And I'm not sure what's going on. That's about its four... They're going to call timeout and talk about it right here. So, I'm Burt Brocker. I'm Jeremy Brandon. This timeout brought to you by Tin Roof Barbecue. Visit Tin Roof Barbecue and Steaks.com or call 281-852-5577 for more information about authentic barbecue from Tin Roof. want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we have just a little mom and pop barbecue joint where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, chicken that's cooked fresh every day, ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey, and then we do like 15 side dishes, and the side dishes are all from scratch. On Friday and Saturday night, we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. Seven forty-two left to play in the first quarter with Burt Brocker. I'm Jeremy Branham on Texan Live or in Humble, Texas, Turner Stadium. The Mustangs' first drive of the game. They're in Eisenhower territory, but a penalty and a fumbled snap have them facing a second and 19 at the Eisenhower 49-yard line. Trudell's under center, drops back, looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. They set up the screen, caught by Shea Wood. He's dropped and hit in the backfield, back into Mustang territory as crashing was Terrence Oliver as he snipped it out and brought Shea Wood down for a big loss. Well, and if you look at the replay right here, he was the only one that sniffed that out. So very, very fortunate right there to be able to 
go through two blockers there because there was nobody. It was open field and three linemen out in front of him. It's a loss of three. It's third down and forever. They need the Eisenhower 29-yard line for the first down, third and 18. Shotgun formation, Trudell. He has Young to his left shoulder and two receivers each side. Trudell, the snap. Here comes some pressure. He's going to throw it deep and has nobody downfield. His intended receiver was Eric Hammersmith, but he overthrew him. Looked like he was throwing the flag, and Hammersmith was running the, the post. And defended out there by Austin, by Arzell Austin, Malik Robinson on coverage as well. And the Mustangs will have to punt. Well, and it'd be interesting to see down the road how, how the Mustangs handle that because there's a lot of man going on tonight. And I've seen a couple times downfield where the receivers were actually open, so... Be curious to see what they do here, but on fourth and, like you said, just a little over a mile and a half, they're going to punt. Diego Garcia stands at his own 36 to punt this one away for the Mustangs. Elijah Haywood is back for Eisenhower, standing at his own 10. Six seconds on the play clock. Snap off. They'll roll out the punt, and they'll kick it away. Haywood just going to let it. Well, it just goes out of bounds. He has nothing to do about it, and we'll see where the official marks it out. Running forward, past the 20, past the 25, and down at the 26-yard line. It is a 28-yard punt, and that's where the Eisenhower Eagles will pick up. 6.52 left to play in the first quarter. A minute, our first down and 10 coming up at the Eagle 26. It set up the Eisenhower offense as they're led out by their quarterback, Jaleon Darden, the junior. Jawan Allen, the tailback. Juwan Williams back there as well. The receivers, Jeremy Hawkins, James Johnson, Farahi Robinson will give you the offensive line after this play. It's Darden in the shotgun, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, rolls off to the left side. He's hit but falls forward as it looked like it was going to be bottled up for a loss. Actually falls forward and gets a gain of about a yard or two. Connor Smith, Ben Beckelman in on the tackle for the Mustangs. Got a yard to dart. Here's the offensive line from left to right. Levante Montgomery, Lavicius Turner, Christopher Sinistera, Jeremy Robinson, and Javante Hoyle. Second down and eight. Eagles have it at their own 28-yard line. Taking the snap is Darden. Looks right, fires right, and it's broken up. Diving breakup by linebacker Connor Smith as the pass was intended to the right side of the senior James Johnson. Very close right there to an interception, and that would have been a big turnover. Being right now, the ball's going to be placed down. We'll call it the 27, 28-yard line. 6-13, clock frozen after the incomplete pass. <laughs> Darden looking over the... Offensive coordinator Marlon Taplin McMillan and coach Kerry Bamber. As Darden will be in the shotgun, he has trips to the right side, back to his right shoulder. Takes the snap on a third and eight, rolls out to the right side. Here comes the pressure, fires to the right side, it is caught. And the run forward by Jawan Williams is just shy of the first down marker. The pitch and catch takes it out to the 34 yard line. It's a pickup of six, but it's two yards shy of the first down. Nice job by the defense there of bending but not breaking and uh, keeping them in front of them. And barring an offside penalty here, they'll get the ball back here. The Mustangs will. And they send Sewu back here to return punt duties. Does a little bit of everything. He'll stand inside his own 35 yard line as the Eisenhower Eagles get set to punt it away. The Mustangs defense a good stand as they force the three and out. Punter stands near his 20 yard line. Low line drive kick that bounces the 50 will roll forward across the 40, the 35, and goes out of bounds between the 35 and the 30 yard line to the 34. 31 yard punt after the low line drive kick. And while it wasn't pretty, Bert, it worked. Yeah, it was. We were watching them warm up and we were curious to see who would be the starting punter. But right there, clearly trying to punt the ball away from Sewu. Did a nice job. Got a forward roll there. And both of these offenses are wasting no time of getting out here on the field. They are, without doubt, they're wanting to get out there and they're wanting to be part of this. So here we go. They're already out on the field, ready to go. The Mustangs are. Dawson Trudell under center, a couple backs behind him. Young and Shewu takes the snap, handoff Young, bounces it out to the right side, gets a block in the corner across the 35, and tiptoes to the round the 40, and it gets wrapped up and then popped out of bounds. The wrap up by Elijah Haywood, the Curtis Relaford comes on to deliver the blow. They spotted at the 42 yard line. 
Nice oh, job. 43. It's a gain of 10 first down. Nice job by the wide receiver there getting his seal block and getting, allowing him to get the edge right there and pick up the big yards and without getting called for a hold. And they've had several. They had touchdown call back on the earlier drive. And on the other third down, they had a penalty, which didn't hurt them. They ended up picking up first down. But penalties play is such a big part in these drives. But nice blocking downfield right there. It's like we talked about in our production meeting a few hours earlier. Here's Trudell turning, play action, looking to throw. Throws off his back foot, has a man across the 25, and he can't reel it in. Intended receiver Eric Hammersmith. It was thrown a little bit behind the junior. Hammersmith tried to go back to reel it in. Might have been deflected and tipped away, and it falls incomplete. Coverage on the play, Arzell Austin, the senior corner. That's a ball Trudell's got to get rid of just a little bit earlier there. His receiver clearly had three steps right there on the defender. Just had to wait on the ball, and that's one of those balls in high school that just seems like forever. Been out there as that receiver. You're just waiting, waiting, get here, get here. So It's hard to wait for. Second down and 10 at the 43 after the Mustangs went long on the first down play. Pitch to the left side, Young. Young looking to sweep to the left side. Now cuts it back in. It's stopped shy of the 45-yard line. Wrapped up initially by Ernest Anderson and also helping out on the backside, Braylon Jefferson. Pickup of a yard to the 44. So after the incomplete pass and the pickup of a yard, the Mustangs face a 39 ball on the far hash. 5-18 and counting. Quarter number one, we are scoreless at Turner Stadium in Humble. Shotgun formation for Trudell. The left shoulder is Shea Wu to the right shoulder is Young. He has a receiver each way. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Here come four Eagles, and he'll just have to throw this one away. Closest receiver on the near side was Griffin Lay. Coverage on the play by the backup quarterback for the Eisenhower Eagles, George Nawakwu, junior defensive back. But all intents and purposes, that was just Trudell getting rid of the football, pressure in his face. Absolutely, and he had a ton of pressure. And so far on the pass plays, it's been a big part of why he's been off. This defensive line has done a great job of getting back there and getting pressure on him and not allowing him to set his feet to make a good throw downfield. It was Malik Robinson, the safety, coming on with the pressure initially for the Eagles. When you have the speed of him, you can't blame Trudell for just getting rid of it. Elijah Haywood back deep at his 15 for the Eagles, getting the kick away is Diego Garcia. Haywood had to go off his foot, and it's picked up by the Mustangs. That's Cole Preston, junior defensive back, getting down in the punt coverage and taking advantage of Haywood's mistake. Went right off the foot, popped right up, and Cole Preston just swiped it right out of his hands. Well, and that's the upside to that little run right kind of soccer style kick. The, it, it, the ball's just spinning differently. It was spiraling, but... You know, he made a long run trying to get to that ball and filled it cleanly, and unfortunately just could not get there. So nice job by the who, – who was that that actually recovered that right there? It was Cole Preston picking up the uh, muffed punt. Preston did a great job. And with that ball bouncing up, that was real close to being able to be advanced. So ball's being placed down right there on the 13-yard line. So the first big break – goes to the Mustangs, and they'll have it, as you mentioned, at the Eisenhower Eagle 13-yard line, knocking on the door in the Eagle red zone. It's Trudell under center, back behind him is Young, Shea off to the left side, moving in motions, lay, they'll pitch it out to him, sweeping to the left side, blockers in front, 10, looking for the sideline, 5 to the corner of the end zone, ball pops free, goes out of bounds, and they will mark him down at the one-yard line, a pickup of a dozen, good for the first down, and it's a first and goal for Kingwood at the Eagle 1. And, and Young's had several runs tonight, but he also was leading the way out there and got a nice block on the corner to give Lay an opportunity to pick up almost 11 yards, so nice job by him. First down and one. Ball goes out of bounds. The clock stops at 444. Here comes the heavy package with two fullbacks in front of Shea Wu. Power eye formation here to the right. Trudell turns, handoff. Shea Wu up the middle. Did he, he lost the ball. The Eagles come away with it. Coming the other side, the Eagles bounce it out to the 18-yard line. Has him wrapped up. He's still on his feet. Lunches forward to about the 20-yard line. As coming away for the football for the Eisenhower Eagles, George Nowakwu. How did that happen? Wow. That was literally, we thought a touchdown. All of a sudden, the ball's out. We're going the other direction. That was a fumble before the ball got to the end zone. 
Recovered by the defense. First down. There you hear it from the official. The ball was recovered, really just ripped out of the hands of Shewo. George Nawaku, the junior, just ripped it away and gives the Eagles the football after a costly mistake on their end. He backs up his teammate, and the Eagles have it now. Handoff, the end around for the Eagles, sweeping to the right side with room. Across the 30 goes Williams. Flags fly across midfield, far sideline to the 30, 25, and he gets knocked over, tripped up, is making the tackle on the right side, and is just throwing his body was Nolan Powell right in front of Jawan Williams. But it's all coming back with flags at the Eisenhower 32 and another at the Eagle 26. Officials will talk about it. They're going to have to make the long walk back. As they're in Mustang territory at about their 23. It's about the third big play in this game that has been called back due to a holding or a blocking penalty. And this is big because it's going to knock off 60 yards. Hold it. Offense, number 13. Oh, it's on the edge, too. It was James Johnson, one of the receivers that was blocking on the outside that sprung it free. They're going to spot the holding penalty at the 26-yard line. So it's a pickup of six yards on the carry for Jawan Williams, and then you spot the penalty back from the holding spot. So it's not the line of scrimmage penalty you normally see, and they'll back it up to the Eagle 16-yard line. So it's a loss of what really rounds out to about a four-yard loss in the play, but you lost so much more because of the gain that you had. First down and 14 at the Eagle 16. Darden's in the gun with a back to each shoulder. Twins on the right side. Darden, snap, turns, hands it off to the big one. Jawan Williams might have broken a tackle as he falls forward. Gets it to the 20-yard line on second effort. Tackle. And the linebackers coming at all. Actually, it was the safety, Brad Batzel, the senior. Connor Gregerson also in on the play. So he got the penalty yardage back. Now facing a second down and 10 at their own 20. All alone in the shotgun is Dart. He's got two receivers each way. He's got a tight end on the left side. Receivers talking to each other with nine seconds on the play clock. Second down and 10, Darden dropping back, looking to throw. Pump fakes, now rolls to the right side, gets a block as he looks for the corner, across the 20, tiptoes down the sideline and falls well short of the first down. Let's see where the spot is. One of the Eagle coaches coming over towards the sideline, yelling at one of his edge receivers on the block. They're going to spot the football at the 23 to pick up a three yards. Yeah, but that play looked like it was going to be a loss of about five to seven yards. And Nice job out there by the blocking by the receivers, allowing him to pick up positive yards and bring you up a third down, at least manageable here, be with the ball being placed down right here. We'll call it the 23-yard line, the 30. So about seven yards they need for a first down. And you're right, third and seven for the Eagles. 3.28 on the clock, first quarter, still scoreless at Turner. All alone is Darden in the gun. Here comes the blitz. Darden eludes one man, runs four. Now cuts it outside of the 25, gets a block. Cuts it back in across the 30, has the yardage for the first down. Don't know how he did it, but Jaylee and Darden just dancing around and up the football field and picks up the yardage needed to move the change for the Eagles, a pickup of nine. Ben Beckelman, the senior defensive end, coming on to make the tackle. <laughs> wow, what a run right there, though. Well, he's just dancing around, cutting in, cutting out. Nifty footwork is now he has a back to each shoulder. Two receivers, one to the left, one to the right. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, option to the left side, keeps it himself. He's wrapped up, but he's brought down. Forward progress, the line of scrimmage. Connor Smith in on the play. And Smith's been in there several times tonight. Nice job by him as a middle linebacker. Fill in right there. That's what your position's supposed to do. So great job by him so far. Last year, these two teams played a low-scoring affair, 14 to 10. Both teams like to run it a lot. Both teams run it a lot. It shortens the game. And right now, they're on pace to really same type of game, under two and a half to play in the first quarter. No score. The Eagles have it second and 10 at their own 32. Handoff up the gut. It goes to Jawan Allen, the sophomore, who runs it forward to the 35-yard line. 
Evan Loika, junior linebacker, the tackle for the Mustangs. Pick up a three. Well, once again here, we're on third and seven, so ball plays down right at 35. Two minutes to play in the first. It's third and seven, as you mentioned, at the Eagle 35-yard line. Trips to the right side. Darden in the gun. Takes the snap. Looks right. Throws it on the bubble screen. It's caught out there by Hawkins. Hawkins hit dropped. Lost yards on the third down play. Back behind the original line of scrimmage to the 31. A loss of four yards. Hawkins, Moore, both in on the stop, bringing down Jeremy Hawkins, the junior receiver. Sewu back here to return this punt for the Mustangs. He's going to put his feet down right around the 33-yard line. A little curious, seeing how short the punts have been, he's not moving up a little bit. He's doing a little shift in here. Robinson back deep to punt for the Eagles, stands inside his own 20. This one a high spiraling kick and tells everybody get away to Shewu. And it will bounce out of bounds inside the 30 yard line of the 29. That one a much better punt. Yes, it was. 40 yards with no return. 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Texan Live is your home for Houston High School football. We have you covered with five games throughout the city tomorrow night. Katie is home for Maid Creek, and Langham Creek looks to rebound against Cy Ranch. That and more right here on Texan Live. Of course, each week you log on to the website, texanlive.com. You vote for our player of the week. And tune in to the Houston High School football wrap-up show and see who the player of the week was. So here come the Mustangs, their third drive of the game. It starts with 57 seconds to play in the first quarter. They have it at their own 29-yard line. Turn, handoff. So we Goes bring to Shea. Well, boy, he's brought down from behind. And he was running forward and got brought down from his shoulders. He falls down shy of the 35 to about the 32-yard line. A pickup about three or four. Ripping him down in the backfield was Malik Robinson after the small game. Pick up a four, under 30 seconds now in the first quarter. Second and six. True to under center, the motion man lay. Pitch it out to lay on the motion. Sprints it out to the right side, gets it across the 35, cuts inside of the numbers, across the 40, flags down in the backfield. Ernest Anderson, Terrence Oliver bringing lay down after the gain. The flags are down, and the Mustangs will be backed up after another holding penalty. Number 54. And that was on the back side. I mean, these guys are holding's definitely something I guess both teams are doing a lot of tonight. Uh, we've seen probably seven holding calls now, so there was no need for that one. It was on the complete backside of the play. Uh, it's kind of like the, the holding downfield. So I'm sure Coach Campbell at halftime will say, come on, guys, you know, you're on the backside. There's no need for you to be holding. You have nothing to do with where the ball's going. That was on the center, William Fobble. Clock ticking under five seconds, and that'll do it for our opening quarter. 12 minutes in the book. It's the Mustangs and Eagles scoreless. As you watch Kingwood and Eisenhower on Texan Live. Cerna is a local family owned business located right on Will Clayton and a one stop shop for your home, auto, liability, and business insurance needs. Please stop in or give us a call at 281 812 9775. We're also proud to support all of the Humble ISD athletes. The body is incredibly powerful. It's nimble and fluid, but sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our Iron Man Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. We are a body of experts. Memorial Hermann, advancing health. Back at Turner Stadium in Humble. Houston High School football on Texan Live with Burt Brocker, the head coach. I'm Jeremy Branham. And while well, you get these two teams together, and what do you know? Scoreless first quarter between the Eagles and the Mustangs. Well, and you've had two touchdowns called back due to holding calls, so game could be definitely a little different right now. 
Second and 16 at their own 23. Under center, Trudell. Trudell in the round, fakes it. It's a play action. He's rolling to the right side. Here comes Shepard in pursuit. Throwing it away is Trudell. They had Shepard on the backside, closing fast. They needed to get rid of it before he got hit and dropped. Nice coverage right there, downfield right there. Nobody was open. Third and long, 23 to be, or 13 rather to be exact. Third and 16 at their own 23. They need nearly 40 yard line to keep the drive alive. Come out of the huddle. Trudell will be in the shotgun with Damon Young off to the left shoulder. He's got two receivers to each side and Shea Wu on the near side at the numbers. Split out wide left. Trudell the snap. Looking left side, overshoots his man, was looking for Shea Wu over the middle and overthrew him by a couple of yards. Falls incomplete, brings up a fourth down and long. Coverage, Elijah Haywood. Haywood will drop back to return the punt for the Eagles. Last time he tried that, he had to go off his foot for a Kingwood <laughs> muffed return. It set up Kingwood nicely, but they would fumble at their own, at the Eagle one yard line. Back deep to punt, Diego Garcia as he stands just outside his 10 yard line. Good snap, rolls out, high spiraling kick that will bounce down at the 41 yard line, takes a forward bounce and Elijah Haywood wants nothing to do with it as it rolls inside the 30 yard line and down to the 27. Nice punt right there, gonna get about 46 yards out of that one. So, you know, field possession in a game like this where your offense is doing what they're doing I mean, nice job for him holding it for a couple seconds, getting the kickoff. Didn't have an opportunity to come up and field that ball. So, once again, where it looked like Eisenhower is going to get great field position, they're going to start out at their own 27. First down and 10. Eagle football. First time they'll have it going this way. As the team's flip side of the quarters. The Eagles now move it left to right as you watch on Texan Live. Hand off on the end around. Goes over to the near side to Allen. Allen cuts it back to the numbers across the 40 to the 45. Stiffs arm a man as he carries him out of bounds with him into Mustang territory to the 45-yard line. Nolan Powell on the receiving end of that stiff arm by Jawan Allen. A big pickup all the way to the 45. First and 10 at the Mustang, 45. First time the Eagles have been in Mustang territory tonight. Durr Garden in the gun, throws it out left side. Good catch made as he tries to bring it back inside to the hashes to the near one. As he reaches the football across near the 40 yard line as reeling in the reception on the screen was Jawan Williams. Nolan Powell, Matthew Shelby combined for the tackle to bring down Williams. Anytime you see that bubble screen have to come all the way back into the middle of the field, you know the defense out there has done their job. So nice job by them. Only giving up about a three-yard gain right there. Yeah, you can live with that defensively. A small gain on that bubble screen with the speed they have on the outside. Second and seven at the Mustang 42. Handoff, bouncing to the right side, across the 40, and tackled from behind at the 38-yard line as the handoff goes to Jawan Allen for a pickup of three. Matthew Shelby there on the tackle. Nice job by him of not giving up on that backside. He's playing... Either nose guard or right defensive tackle. So nice job by him to follow in the play there. Only allowing about a two-yard gain. So to bring up a third down, and we'll call it four. Yeah, if it's not fourth down territory, it's awfully close. Very close right here. Third and four, as you mentioned, at the Mustang, 39. 13 on the play clock as Darden drops back into the shotgun. He has trips to the far side. Ball is on the near hatch. Darden, snap, handoff, up the middle. Allen sheds off a of one tackle, but he stops shy of the first down at the 36-yard line, a pickup of three yards, just short of that yard to achieve. Matthew Shelby there with another big stop. I mean, he looked like he was going to lean forward and pick it up. and So here we go, fourth and one. They're going to go quick here. It's about a yard and a half away. Fourth down, 9.50 in the first half. Darden in the gun, a back to each shoulder, and now he's going to take a timeout to talk about it. 9.45 to play in the half, scoreless from Turner Stadium in Humble. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years. 
and we have just a little mom and pop barbecue joint where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, chicken that's cooked fresh every day, ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey, and then we do like 15 side dishes, and the side dishes are all from scratch. On Friday and Saturday night, we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. Back at Turner Stadium in Humble, 9.45 to play in the first half in a scoreless game between Kingwood and Eisenhower, and the Eagles are facing a fourth down about a yard and a half, and they brought the punt team on. Very surprising right there, Jeremy, to see that take place. We talked about the field position game earlier, and that seems to be the decision for Eisenhower. The Mustangs don't even have anybody back deep, so an opportunity for the Eagles to pin them deep. Good snap, a high end-over-end kick. That will bounce at the 21-yard line, still at the 20. Takes a sidewards bounce to about the 19. And it gets inside the 20-yard line, but only to the 19. It's about a 17-yard punt. Well, that was really surprising. I did not see that. I, I thought for sure they'd run a fake there, even though they sent the punt team out. But like you said, right now, let's play field position. They're going to start out inside of their 20, the Mustangs are. And so far, outside... Of the two big plays, it's been called back for Holden. Neither team has really been able to move the ball up and down the field. First down and 10 as the Mustangs take over at their own 19-yard line with 9.33 to play in the second quarter. Pitch over to the right side to Shewu. Shewu breaks a tackle, falls forward across the 20-yard line to the 21 on the far hash. Tackle made by middle linebacker Terrence Oliver. And, Burt, we've been calling about the middle linebackers a lot. Oliver and Anderson, they've been a force tonight. Well, and like you said, it's only going to be a two-yard gain right there. So, going to bring up a second down and eight. Ball's going to be placed down right there, and we'll call it 21-yard line. The Mustangs come over. Ball on the far hash. Trudell under center. He's got Young behind him, and then Shea will off to the right shoulder of Young. Motion man lay, left to right, pitch it out to him. They'll fake, no, they no. give it to the reverse. Running over to the near side is Hammersmith. Hammersmith blockers in front, across the 25, and he's hit and dropped on the outside, making the stop of the Eisenhower Eagles. George Nawakwu, who st stripped the football earlier on that first and goal play, and he comes up with a big tackle on the end around reverse to Hammersmith. Looked like a big play, and Nawakwu was able to make the big tackle. Gain to the 28, pickup of seven. Boy, looking at it, could have been a lot more. It sets up a third and one for the Mustangs on the near side. Twin receivers to the short side of the field. Trudell under center will take it, run it right up the middle of the sneak, falls and lunges forward across the 30-yard line to the 31. Small gain of two, it's all he needs, and the Mustangs have a first down. We creep up on the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. Ball will be at the 31-yard line. Trudell, two backs behind him, Young. And off to the left shoulder, Shea Wu. Turn, handoff Young right up the gut, and he's met and dropped. What a collision between the two, and winning the battle at the point was Ernest Anderson. They give him the 34-yard line to pick up a three, but boy, what a huge collision. And Ernest Anderson made sure to drop Young backwards. Well, we've talked about this defense on both sides all night, and there's an example. These middle linebackers are bringing in the cornerbacks are bringing the wood. Timeout, Eisenhower. 7-12 left to play in the second quarter. Mustangs, Eagles scoreless on Texan Live. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we've been just a little mom and pop barbecue joint. Where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, Chicken that's cooked fresh every day. Ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey. And then we do like 15 side dishes, and the side dishes are all from scratch. 
on Friday and Saturday night we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. Second down and seven coming up for the Mustangs with Burt Brocker. I'm Jeremy Brand. I'm happy to have you with us. Tune in to Fox Sports Southwest tomorrow night from 11 to midnight for the Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show presented by Texan Drive. Join Howard Chen, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, and Courtney Matten as they take you around the city for the best Houston high school football around. Second down and seven, ball at the 34. And here's Trudell under center. Bunched up formation with two backs behind him. Hand off, Shea off to the right side. Nice move, bounces out to the right. 40, looks for the sideline of the 45, has the first down and more. They'll spot him out at the 47-yard line, a pickup of 13, and a Mustang first down. And once again, that shows that patience. He set that up, he had one man to beat, did what he's supposed to do, broke a tackle out there, picked up almost 13 yards. So nice job, I say we right there, of utilizing his blocks and then not giving up on it, knowing he had only one person to beat to get the edge here. Well, one man to beat brought him down, Malik Robinson, the safety. Still good for a Mustang first down, 647 and counting first half. Eagles on their, on their heels a little as the Mustangs have picked up a couple of first down. Kingwood, fake the pitch, they hand it off to Lay. There's flags flying, Lay up the middle, now bounces it out to the right side into Eisenhower territory across the 40, across the 35. And then finally brought down inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. 19 yards of the play. The flag flying an eagle offside. The Mustangs will decline and a big chunk of yards for Kingwood. Nice job by Kingwood there of putting the helmet on helmet, getting the blocks. They knew they had a free play. And, you know, and that's where a defense sometimes will fall back on their heels. They jump off sides and then they kind of relax just a second. No whistle. Play went, and that was a big play. Like you said, 19 yards right there. Lay did a nice job of breaking a couple tackles and picking up a big game. And into Eagle territory where they'll go shotgun with Trudell. To the left shoulder is Young. He's got two receivers to each side. Trudell takes the snap, looks over to the right. Here's the pressure, throws it over the middle, and it's incomplete. Looking for Chase Evans, the senior receiver over the middle. It was too tall. Incomplete second down. Elijah Haywood on coverage. There was a lot of eagles, though, the round. It seemed like there was a lot of bodies around, almost like uh, players were running the wrong route as there was too much congestion over the middle. Second down and 10. Ball still at the Eagle 34. 6.05 to play in the second in a scoreless game from Turner. Trudell under center. Young behind him. Receiver to each side, looking to throw. It's his draw right up the middle. Trudeau bounces over to the right side. He's dragged from behind as he falls forward all the way to the 25-yard line. A gain of nine, but he's just shy of the first down. And what a nice call there by Barry right there to set that up because these defensive tackles have been just firing up the field. Somebody upstairs saw that and said, hey, we can run a quarterback draw. And that right there, you know, you can take advantage of defensive tackles that are – you know, just hustling to get back there to get the sack. And that was a great play and great call right there by probably one of the coaches from upstairs. Third down and one. The 25 for the Eagles. Trudell, the snap, play action rolling. It's hit, and he is sacked. Sacked in the backfield on a third and one. Is crashing the party. Elijah Haywood from the safety spot. And a huge loss on a third and short. And the kick team will come on for the Mustangs. Six-yard loss back to the 32. Now that might take them out of field goal range. It'd be about a 49-yard kick. The wind is at their back slightly at about five miles per hour. It looks like they are going to line up for the field goal. Let's see where they tee it up. The holder is Josh Slayton, the senior defensive back. Jardell was hit real hard on that last play, too, so be curious to see what his situation is. 49-yard field goal, high snap. Kick is on its way. Will it have the distance? No. Just short, just off to the right side. It falls no good. 440 left to play in the second quarter. We'll be right back in a scoreless game on Texan Live. The body is incredibly powerful. It's nimble and fluid. But sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. All right, handoff up the middle right there. 
goes to Allen. Allen runs it off the guard to the right side, finds a hole and runs it forward across the 35-yard line before he's tripped up and brought down by the senior, Josh Slate. That kick looked like it would have made it from the 42, so that, that loss of six on the third down play there was huge because he had enough leg to look like make it from 42 yards. Second down and about four. Motion man from left to right. They hand it off to him. That's Jawan Williams looking for the sideline. Not much there, but looks like he has the yardage for the first down. Didn't need much, got enough. And the Eagles move the chain. They also went out of bounds. So it stops the clock at 3.58 to play in the first half. Pick up about six to the 43. Eagles taking their time, running the four-minute offense. Eisenhower with two timeouts. One timeout left, to beg your pardon. Mustangs have two. Dual backs to each shoulder of Darden. Fakes the handoff. Option to the left. Has a room across the 50. The 45 looks for the sideline to the 35-30. Has a, the room at the 20, and he gets clotheslined out of bounds inside the 15-yard line and down to the 11. But Preston did a nice job of saving a touchdown there because he had a blocker in his face right there. But he did a nice job of slowing him down and then making the tackle there. And so, again, the ball's going to be placed down at 10. Huge gain, but opportunity to put a defensive stand here. So, nice job by Preston right there saving a touchdown. 47 yards of the pickup. And now the Eagles have it first and goal at the Mustang 10. Darden in the shotgun. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, and he's hit and dropped right around the line of scrimmage. Connor Smith in on the play. Also creeping up for the Mustangs on the outside was Eric Platero. A gain of a yard on the quarterback keeper by Darton. Twenty-four on the play clock, three twenty to go here in the first half. So. Eisenhower slowing it down a little bit here. Darden in the gun, a back to each shoulder. Hand off to Allen. Allen up the middle, fighting for yardage. Gets it near the five-yard line. First man to hit him was Davis Kendick. Beckelman also getting in there from his linebacker position, getting a tackle. Gain of three, third and goal from the six. 250 and counting. Quarter number two. Eagles looking over the sideline, waiting for the play. Get it from the staff and now walk to the scrim, walk to the line of scrimmage. Darden, two receivers to the left side, high snap, good handoff to Allen. Allen up the middle and he sheds some Mustangs on his way in. Jawan Allen from six yards out takes it into the end zone and puts the Eagles on the board first. Boy, what strength by Jawan Allen taking it right up the gut and plunging it in from six yards out. First score comes with 2.27 left to play in the second quarter. And the Eagles on to attempt the extra point to try to extend the lead to seven. Well, and you got to believe on the other side where Coach Campbell went for the 49-yard field go that, uh, you know, that's a – and that's going to be no good there. But, you know, that's a lot of confidence in your kicker right there. But once again, I'm Burt Brocker, owner of Texan Live. I hope you all enjoying the broadcast, and we'll go to break here. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware and so much more. It's Bert. And Jamie. During our summer clearance event, we need to move, move, move our 2015s. And you can count on a big selection. A team dedicated to treating you better and low prices. Like new Sierra Cruise discounted $12,400. That's right, folks. That's over 31%. And we have hundreds to choose from. Or a new Acadia for $2.99 a month. Thanks for making us one of the fastest growing dealerships in the nation. Text them Buick GMC located Highway 59 in Will Clayton. Or shop 24-7. Texandrive.com. We, we treat, treat you better. better. 
A six-play, 70-yard drive using a minute 58 off the clock. Puts Eisenhower ahead, six to nothing. Jawan Allen, six-yard touchdown run. Extra point, no good. We'll see if that comes into play later on. Saywu and Lay back here to return this kickoff. Both of them putting their heels down right around the five-yard line. And on to kick it away is Charlo Lombos, who missed the extra point. Wasn't a very good snap. It was a high snap, but the hold was late getting down. End over end, booted pretty well as Lay goes back and will field it inside his five-yard line. Near side of the numbers, cuts it towards the sideline, puts a move on, and try to fake right, went left, and he's forced out of bounds by Curtis Rulfer, the senior. The return out to the 26. And the Mustangs down by six for the first time, down for the first time. We'll have 2.21 left to play in the second quarter. And they do have two timeouts in their pocket. So with in high school, the ball, you know, the first down, the clock stops, and out of bounds, it stops. So uh, this is a long time here. They just need to move this ball down. or Let's just go ahead and bust one off for 74 yards. Shotgun Trudell fakes the handoff, looks to throw. He's going to throw it deep over the middle of the field, and it overshoots his intended receiver, Griffin Lay. On the coverage for Eisenhower was Malik Robinson defending Lay as he ran right up the middle looking for the long pass. Trudell's just been a little off. He's had a couple of receivers downfield actually get a step on the receiver. He threw that ball back to the inside shoulder and looked like if he'd have thrown it out to the outside shoulder, Lay might have been able to make an adjustment and make a catch there. Trudell under center. Two backs behind him. Second down and 10 at their own 27. Throws it out to the right side, looking for Damon Young, and it's just a little bit ahead of Young. Went off of Young's hands, though. I bet you Young would say he should have grabbed it. Goes off the fingertips and falls out of fouls incomplete. Curtis Relaford right behind Damon Young. Damon Young covering him on the play. Boy, as a Mustang fan here, you really need a first down right here. Give your defense a little breather. Well, look at it from the other end. We talked about all the time that they had, but if they go three and out and say this one's an incomplete pass, now you give the Eagles all the time that you had. And they still have one timeout left, so this is a big play for the Mustangs. Third and 10 at their own 27. Trudell fakes the handoff, rolls out. Here comes some pressure. The throwback screen, and it's too tall to Shewu. Overshot him, falls incomplete, and back to back to back incomplete passes. They go three and out, and they use up only 20 seconds off the clock. Pressure applied right up the gut by Curtis Relaford and the big defensive tackle, Braylon Jefferson. And Oliver's out there again. He he was right there. I don't believe that play would have would have picked up much, even if it would have been a good throw. Just tons of pressure right there by that defense. Elijah Haywood stands near his own 40-yard line. Diego Garcia at about his 17. It's a high, booming punt. Haywood calls for the fair catch and falls to the turf to make the grab. We'll keep it right here with 2.02 left to play in the first half. And Eisenhower will have the football at their own 41-yard line with 2.02 left to play in the second quarter. Tune into Fox Sports Southwest tomorrow night from 11 to midnight for the Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive. Join Howard Chin, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, and Courtney Madden as they take you around the city with the best high school football around. The Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive from 11 to midnight tomorrow on Fox Sports Southwest. So 202. What does Eisenhower have to do here, Bert? Well, you know, again, they did it methodically down the field last time. So, you know, it's just one of those deals. They're going to drop back and throw the ball right here. He's looking downfield. He's Throws got a man right there. down the left sideline, and it is incomplete. Threw into double coverage for Jeremy Hawkins, his junior receiver. And good coverage along the way on the outside far sideline. A couple of Mustangs in defense. Uh, Evan Lavoca was one of them. And also helping out was Brandon Griffin. Eisenhower went deep on that first down play, figuring huh, what we have to lose. Well, and he was there. Just, you know, great job right there defensively to break that pass up. Second down and 10, a minute 55 to play in the second quarter. Handoff. It goes to Williams. Williams runs it off tackle. Left side still fighting for yardage and finally is suplexed backwards after a gain of a couple. A couple of Mustangs near the area. Matthew Shelby, Evan Loika. 
Well, the Mustangs need a stop right here. Third down, we'll call it eight. They're going to let run the clock here, Eisenhower is, which is the Eagles exactly what they're supposed to do. Going to be just around a minute ten whenever they snap the ball here. Third down and eight. At their own 43, rolling out is Darden. Darden now reverses to the leather side, across the 40, and then is tackled from behind near the 45-yard line. Got about a yard or two before he was tripped up from behind by Matthew Shelby. Be curious to see if Coach Campbell calls a timeout here. He's got two left. A minute now on the clock. It looks like he's just going to let it roll down. Here comes the punt team for the Eisenhowers. Forty-seven seconds left on the game clock, and dropping back will be Shewu on the punt team. Be back on the return, standing near his twenty-five. Robinson is on to punt. He stands near his thirty. And the Eagles looks like will run this play clock all the way down to two seconds. And they get the snap off with a second, nearly blocked by Connor Smith. The punt will land inside the 30 and roll forward down that far sideline. With 18 seconds, it is finally down at the 11-yard line. Connor Smith come real close to blocking that punt right there. That would have been, you know, right before half, a big game changer. But he did not get there. Nice job by the punter getting it off and then got a big kick out of it. Yeah, 46 like yards. Wow, nice job by him. So the Mustangs now with just 18 seconds left and only two timeouts remaining and in the shadows of their own goalpost. You would not expect anything too risky. And the official standing right behind the quarterback. He's thinking the same thing we are. As Trudeau will take the snap, drops it on an E, and that'll do it for the first half. First half of football, Eagles lead the Mustangs 6-0, and time now for halftime, presented by Panera. Come enjoy the heart of Katy, Texas, one of the most delightful cities in Lone Star State. The best part? It's a short drive from Houston and minutes from the Energy Corridor. With places to stay and places to play, anything you'd like to eat, and an old town charm that can't be beat. Activities and fun for the entire family. Enjoy the best of both worlds in the City of Champions, Katy, Texas. For more information, go to cityofkady.com.
band led here for Big Ice. The Mighty Eagle Band is led by director of band Michael Owens, associate directors Roxanne Stahl and Matt Addison, percussion instructor Reggie Goffney, and color guard instructor Kelly Baker. Enjoy the rest of the game and go Eagles!
the Mighty Mustang Military Marching Band. Tonight the band performs intimate precision drills to traditional march music as they continue the rich heritage of American military bands. Drum Major Lauren also Brook and Ashley Cubs lead the band onto the field as they perform. Garland Andre March by Carl King, the Claxton March by Henry Fillmore, and Colonel Bogey by Kenneth Alpert.
Kingwood High School band directors are Kenzie Holt and Brittany Hunter. Percussion instruction by Wally Mulhern. Flag instruction by Terry Mulhern. Welcome back to Turner Stadium in Humble. He's watching halftime presented by Panera. Alongside Burr Brocker, I'm Jeremy Branham, about set for the second half as the Eisenhower Eagles lead the Kingwood Mustangs six to nothing. Let's take you back to that scoring drive for the Eagles. It came late in the second quarter, 227 left to play in the half to be exact after a six play 70 yard drive took a minute 58 off the clock. Uh, Jawan Allen, touchdown from six yards out. And Burt, your, your thoughts on the first half here at Turner. Well, the first quarter, you know, you had two touchdowns called back for the Mustangs on holding calls. And uh, as we said all night, it's been a defensive struggle. I'm not quite sure Coach Campbell on a 49-yard field goal during district would have actually went for that. But wanted to see probably the leg of his kicker. He would have, like I said, probably made it from 42, depending on accuracy. It was close, a little bit wide right. But... You know, he, he had to really put his leg into it to get it there. So he showed he had the leg. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those deals. And it was a big third down play by the Eagles to sack him for a six-yard loss. So, you know, it looked like Kingwood had control three and a half minutes, four minutes to go in the, in the first half. And then all of a sudden they get a big sack, miss field goal, and then immediately the offense marches the ball down the field and puts them on top. So, once again, it's been a defensive struggle here. Both teams have – you know, good defenses. So, be real interesting to see uh, what the Eagles do with their first possession here in the second half. Yeah, Eisenhower won the toss to start the game, and they elected to defer. Uh, they wanted the football to start the second half, so they will get the ball first. The Eagles again in the visiting white uniforms, the black pants. Kingwood in the navy blue tops, navy blue pants. As the Mustangs get set to kick it off, Eisenhower get the ball first in the second half, and they will move it left to right as you watch at home. The Eagles move it left to right. And I'll jump back in here. I'm Burr Brocker, owner of TexanLive.com. Of course, we've been covering on the way to Pitt School District now for the last four and a half, five years. We are the official audio and streaming provider, so all games starting next week will be covered by us in district play. So big, big deal. We have this school district, New Caney. We also have Pearland, Katy. And then we cover about another 15 schools, including some out of Cy Fair, some out of Klein, some out of Spring. So really exciting football here in Houston, Texas. The Eagles get it first. Low line drive kick cut by one of the up men around the five-yard line. Runs it up the middle of the field across the 20-25. Dodges a man three and lost the football on the return. It was Elijah Haywood who lost it. The Mustangs come away with it. And boy, another costly turnover for the Eagles as picking up the football after the loss by Haywood was Carlos Villarreal, the senior. And the Mustangs now have it just like that inside the Eagle 30-yard line to begin the second half. And that's what our Mustangs needed. You know, and going back a play, we haven't really talked about that much. Sewu on literally what was a matter of probably the length of the football from being in the end zone got stripped and it was run back to the 20, so they were got a touchdown call back and were stripped on the one-inch line, in my opinion. Trudell under center, drops back, looks to throw. Down the near sideline, looking for the end zone, and is caught, and into the end zone goes Chase 
Evans. Nice job right there by Evans, being tall, being big, going up. That was tight, tight coverage right there, but Evans went up, filled, you know, caught the ball cleanly, and then finished it off for scoring a touchdown. And just like that, we got a tie ball game. Right over the top, Trudell to Evans, and Evans used that size and the length to go over the top of the defender, reel it in, and tiptoe into the end zone for the Mustangs touchdown. And now, critical extra point as Diego Garcia tries to give the Mustangs the lead. Snap good, hold good, kick is on its way. It is in, and the Mustangs have their first lead of the night. 11.46 to play in the third quarter. The Mustangs lead the Eagles 7-6 on Texan Live. Allspas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But Allspas is also a boutique, featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, Allspas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. Allspas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. Back at Turner Stadium in Humble, alongside the head coach, Burt Brocker. I'm Jeremy Branham. The Mustangs have their first lead of the night, 7-6, 11-46, left to play in the third quarter. And, boy, you get a turnover, why not gamble and go with the jump ball on the first down play? And it paid dividends as Trudell connects with Evans from 20 yards out. Well, we said the Mustangs needed a big turnover, and they got it. They did exactly what they were supposed to do, one play, one touchdown. So here we go. Eisenhower will send three back deep as Diego Garcia gets set to kick it away. The Turners scoot up a little bit as they anticipate this kick from Garcia. Not much wind tonight at Turner. This one a low line drive kick that'll be fielded right at the goal line. Across the 10 on the far side of the 20. Looking for the sideline to the 25 goes Jawan Allen. And he's forced out of bounds. Let's see where they mark it. He was forced out of bounds on the far sideline. He's trying to tiptoe down the side, but didn't have much room. And they will mark the football at the 26-yard line. But like you said, it was a low line, low line drive kick there, kickoff there. So he did get an opportunity to return that. And they had three deep there. They wanted to make sure that they did return that ball. So Darden in the shotgun. They'll lead the Eagles back out, and they're trailing for the first time tonight. They had the halftime lead 6-0. They fumble the second-half kick. And the Kingwood just a one-play, 28-yard drive on the touchdown pass. The Eagles back out for their first offensive drive in the second half. Darden, with the receiver in motion, fakes the handoff, keeps it up the middle, across the 30-yard line, and he's tripped up from behind. The positive yardage is Evan Loika. Got a finger on the shoe, tripped him up to the 32. It's a pickup of six. Darden, the quarterback. Eleven, twelve, and counting. Quarter number three. Mustangs lead by one. Darden between the running backs to each shoulder. He has twin receivers to the far side. Handoff fakes it, pitches it out to the left side. It's Williams with it. Williams not much room. Ball on the ground. The football was he down? No. Officials not motioned. They're talking now. They have not made a decision. And they're showing now the two fingers at second down, uh, indicating that Williams was down before the ball popped out. He did lose a yard, though. And now it's a third down and five. Very close. Very lucky break right there for the Eagles. Eagles have it at their own 31-yard line. Darden with a back to his left shoulder. He's got a receiver to the left, two to the right. Darden takes the snap, drops back, looks to throw, flags and whistles as there was some motion before the snap. Now kill the play, back him up five yards, and now third and longer. So you go from a third and very manageable, we'll call it five, to now it's going to be third and ten. This definitely changes the play calling right here. It also tips your hand a little bit of what you were trying to do. Back him to the 26. Third and ten. Darden, like 
You know, as I say, look like you can go empty backfield here. They will empty it out. Tight end set, two receivers each side. Darton all alone. Takes the snap, they rush full. Darton tries to make a man miss as here comes some pressure. Didn't get good blocking up front. Dancing around, gets through it. He's at the 20, cuts back inside. Now back out to the 25, to the 30. Cuts towards the sidelines, tripped up and stopped. Shy of the first down. He had just a guy to beat. And getting a finger was Cole Preston bringing down Darden shy of the first down. And there is an eagle down at the 20. We'll step away. 9.37 left to play in the third quarter. Mustangs lead the Eagles 7-6 on Texan Live. Cerna is a local family-owned business located right on Will Clayton and a one-stop shop for your home, auto, liability, and business insurance needs. Please stop in or give us a call at 281-812-9775. We're also proud to support all of the Humble ISD athletes. The body is incredibly powerful. It's nimble and fluid, but sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. We are a body of experts. Memorial Hermann, advancing health. Back at Turner Stadium, a 7-6 lead for the Mustangs with 9.37 left to play in the third quarter. Boy, Kingwood, Cole Preston, the cornerback, able to make that tackle just at the last moment. Boy, it looked like Darden was going to break out of all of it. If it wasn't for Cole Preston, it would have been a first down and potentially a lot more. Tune in to Fox Sports Southwest tomorrow night from 11 to midnight for the Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive. Join Howard Chen, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, and Courtney Madden as they take you around the city with the best Houston high school football round. The Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive from 11 to midnight tomorrow on Fox Sports Southwest. 9.37 left to play in the third quarter. Eisenhower will punt this one away, facing a fourth and three at their own 33-yard line. Shea Wu back deep to return the kick for the Mustangs. He stands just outside his 30-yard line. As Robinson on to punt for Eisenhower, he stands inside his 20. Clock ticking, 9.24 and counting in the third quarter. Robinson takes the snap, low line drive, kick bounces around the 42. Coming on, and Shea Wu to make it. He grabs it at the 40, runs forward on the left hash across to the 40-yard line, 45-yard line where he's brought down. Tackle for the Eisenhower Eagles, James Johnson. Also in on the play, Curtis Rulford. Very fortunate that ball didn't hit the up man for the Mustangs there. And then Shea Wu did a nice job of coming up and filling that ball cleanly breaking a couple tackles and picking up potentially about 12 yards extra there. So Mustangs will start out with great field position on this uh, second drive of this half. Yeah, second drive, but the first drive only took a play. It was a long touchdown pass from Dawson Trudell to Chase Evans. Trudell this time under center. They send lay in motion, fake the handoff, give it to Damon Young off to the left side. Young, 30, down the near sideline, inside the 25, and then is shoved out of bounds by Malik Robinson, but not before a long gain to the Eisenhower. 20, 35-yard pickup as the Mustangs are picking them up in chunks here in the second half. You know, it's amazing. It's a tell of two halves. Last week, Mustangs were down 28-7, to come back and win that game 35-34 over Friendswood. So undoubtedly, Coach Campbell got some kind of magic speech at halftime here so far. It certainly looks like he has. Better head coach you were him, huh? <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't necessarily probably want to be in that locker room after the first him half. Him on the had. football field, you at the dealership. 9.03 left to play in the third. 7-6 Mustang lead. Pitch out to Shea Wu. Left sideline. Hurdles a man on the numbers. Rolls forward. He's tripped up. Brought down inside the 10. Terrence Oliver wrestling him down at the 8, but not for a chunk of yardage of a dozen. Setting up a first and goal for Kingwood. Well, I just noticed the lineman here. Everybody's getting a helmet on somebody on that last play, a counter draw right there, you know, and then say we right there just breaking tackles, but he still was not touched for about six yards downfield, and then he clearly showed his power running north-south there. Kingwood with a little pep to the step. Trudell's under center behind him. Young and Shea Wu's there as well. Turn, 
Handoff, Shea Wu has a blocker in front right side, and he reaches for the goal line, and he is in. Shea Wu from eight yards out, and the Mustangs extend their lead to seven. Well, and once again, what a nice job right there of being patient and, and allowing his blockers to do what they're supposed to do and then finishing it, the run on his part, too, because he was hit on about the three-yard line. He did a nice job of finishing through there and picking up the touchdown. So Mustangs extend the lead now on to attempt the extra point try. Alasia Highwood. Check that. It's Diego Garcia on to attempt the extra point. Good snap. Old good. Kick is up, and it is through. No good. Missed it right. Off to the right side. No good, and everything was good in front. The snap, the hold, but the kick was just to the right. No good, and that keeps Eisenhower within seven. 13-6. Kingwood lead. 8.33 left on Texan Live. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique, featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. 8.33 left to play in the third quarter. Kingwood, two touchdowns already in the half. They lead it 13 to 6. 8.33 left alongside Burt Brocker. I'm Jeremy Branham, and we've already seen some special teams come back to haunt these two teams a couple times. Yep, but, you know, he had a missed extra point early, and then right there, the Mustangs met one. Right here, the Eagles have actually got three men. They definitely want to return the ball here, so ball's going to be filled at probably right around the two right there. To hold it at the two-yard line on the far side. Got drilled and brought down shy of the 30-yard line. A huge Mustang blow as making the pop was the kicker, Diego Garcia. <laughs> Garcia bringing the wood. Yes, he did right there. And there was a seam out there, and he did a nice job of potentially stopping a long run, if not a touchdown. <laughs> He's getting a lot of love over here on the Kingwood sideline. You don't see Kingwood, or kickers rather, get down the field and bring down a ball carrier like that. Quick handoff up the middle. It goes to Allen. Nothing there. This Mustang team has some of that momentum now. You can see it on offense, and this defense is starting to be stingy against this Eisenhower O. Well, and outside of the one drive the first half, the defense really on the Mustangs played an exceptional first half. They just gave up a long drive right there in about a minute 50, I think you said earlier. And, you know, just one of those drives you look back on, you miss a 49-yard field goal, then you give up a 70-plus yard drive for a touchdown. You know, you, ha you hate to go in down by six, but they've clearly come out the second half and responded two touchdowns on their first two possessions. Picks up a pair at second and eight at their own 30. 7.45 in the third quarter, clock winding down 13-6 Mustang lead Darden in the gun we're gonna get a timeout for the Eagles their first charge timeout in the second half 737 left to play in the third quarter Mustangs lead the Eagles 13-6 on Texan Live if you want a real authentic Texas barbecue you need to come to 10 Roof we've been doing barbecue for 12 years and we've been just a little mom and pop barbecue joint where everything is cooked fresh here we uh, have brisket sausage Chicken that's cooked fresh every day. Ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey. And then we do like 15 side dishes and the side dishes are all from scratch. On Friday and Saturday night, we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. Back with Bert Brocker, I'm Jeremy Branham. 7.37 left to play in the third quarter. It's Darden in the gun, facing a second and eight. Bobbled the snap, keeps himself, rolls to the right side, makes a man miss as he cuts outside of the numbers. Back inside, he's at the 40, and he's tripped up there, across the 40 to the 42, enough for the first down, and he's brought down by Brad Batzel and Josh Slayton. Boy, it took a lot to bring Darden down, making some nifty moves, making some Mustangs miss, and a pickup of a dozen to the 42. Well, on the Eagles last possession he actually picked up uh nine yards and he dodged at least three if not four tackles and this kid's got a lot of moves in his bag goes darden again shotgun formation a back to each shoulder 
You got Williams to the right now and to the left. Two receivers to the left side. Handoff goes to Williams on the sweep across the 45, across midfield. Has the sideline to the 40, makes the man miss across the 30 to the 20. Blockers in front. 10 5 touchdown, Jawan Williams as he scampers it in from 58 yards, but hold it there. A flag is down at the 43 yard line. And this is going to go against the Eagles. The expression by Jawan Allen tells the story. And the old adage says, if a picture could say a thousand words, and you can see it from here, Jawan Allen's angst. This one's coming all the way back. Big play. Coming back, and Kerry Bamberg, the head coach for the Eagles, on that far sideline arguing the call, but not going to change the mind. It's a line of scrimmage penalty back him up to the 32, and you went from a 58-yard score to now facing a first down and 20 at your own 32. Dulles taking care of Hastings up 52 to nothing. End of three. That's a big score from Dulles, the Vikings. Cy Falls is up 43 to six over Cy Woods. Quick handoff. It goes to Allen. Allen up the middle. There's nothing there. Might have gotten a yard or two past the original line of scrimmage, but he's brought down in a hurry thereafter. Looks like Manvo up 48 to seven at halftime over Doby. Between those two teams, which one gets to 100 first? Well, we've watched both teams, and they both got high power offenses, so and and, and pretty solid defenses. So yeah, there's some heavyweights in the Houston area. They give him a yard to the 33. Second down and 19 coming up with Darden in the gun. A back to each shoulder, Allen and Williams. Two receivers to the left side, one to the near. Rolling out Darden. Darden looking to throw. Darden now will tuck it. Look to run, and he's ripped down near the far sideline. Coming away with the tackle as he sprints back towards the middle. But the Mustangs ripping him down in the backfield. Brandon Griffith. Actually got a yard of the 34, but they're looking at a third down from there of 18 to go. Six oh six remaining in the third quarter. Mustangs lead at 13 to six. Darden taking a long look to the sideline. Third and 18, there's not a lot of plays in the book. Twin receivers to the near side, one to the far. Now the move of motion man, Williams. Fake the handoff, kicking it himself is Darden. Darden looks for the outside. He's at the 40, cuts back inside. Spin move of the 45 and falls down there. The nearest Mustang around Darden was the safety, Brad Bartzel. Also in on the coverage, Connor Gregerson with the tackle of the quarterback, Darden. He got a pickup of about seven to eight, but he's well shy of the first down. And the punt team will come on for Big Ike. Shea Wu will be back deep for the Mustang. Stands near his 25. Now backs up closer to his 20. Setting to put this away is Robinson as he stands at his own 30. 545 and counting. Quarter number three. Mustangs in front of the Eagles, 13 to 6. Good snap. A low line drive kick that bounces to the 40 and takes a miraculous bounce down the sideline, skips across the 30, 25, and is down to the 20-yard line. 35-yard punt, but with no return, and you can live with that. Yeah, you can, because that, that ball looked like it was going to go out about the 32, and somehow or another almost had some big-time English on it because it spun dead right, stayed in, rolled all the way down the 20. So actually going to pick up an extra 12 yards on that punt. Texan Live is your new home for Houston High School sports. We have you covered five games throughout the city tomorrow night. Katie home for Maid Creek. Amongst that, amongst the other games on the slate, Langham Creek looks to rebound against Cy Ranch. That and much more right here on Texan Live. So here's Dawson Trudell, the quarterback, getting under center. Pitches it out to the near side. Lay looks for blockers in front. Flags fly from behind. Lay gets it across the 25 into about the 26-yard line before the end of the road as he gets met up with Braylon Jefferson, who brings him down. Right now, currently pick up a six, but looks like this one's going to come back. Well, we've had quite a few holding calls here tonight, both teams. So these offensive line, just for some reason on the back side, seem to be be grabbing their man. And, you know, and I know as coaches that drives you absolutely crazy. You know, it's one thing to be out front of where your runner's going and getting a holding call, but, man, you hate to see a 
hold on the back side of the play. Clock winding under 5-10 remaining. Kingwood, pair of touchdowns in this third quarter as they were trailing 6-0 to begin the half. Scored on their previous two drives, their first two drives. Handoff, Shea Shewu spins off a man as he looks for the sideline, gets to the 10, 15, and will go out of bounds around the 20-yard line. He's chased out of bounds by George Nwekwu, but he does get to the 21 for a pickup of 11, gets those penalty yardage back. Showed some speed right there, too. Very impressive. Of course, Shewu after this season's off to TCU, which has turned into a powerhouse into the Big 12. But he'll play linebacker once he gets to Fort Worth. We've seen him play linebacker some this season. Has not done so tonight as they're moving him over to that running back spot. And he had a huge game last week going off for 164 yards and a touchdown on 17 carries. And for this season, a new position, it seems like, for Shea The Mustangs going to burn a timeout. Didn't like what they saw. 4.50 left to play in the third. It's the Mustangs in front of the Eagles, 13-6 on Texan Lot. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to 10 Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we've been just a little mom and pop barbecue joint. Where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, chicken that's cooked fresh every day, ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey, and then we do like 15 side dishes, and the side dishes are all from scratch. On Friday and Saturday night, we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. 4.50 to play in the third quarter with Burr Brocker. I'm Jeremy Branham. 13-6, the Mustangs in front, 4.50 left to play in the third quarter. It's been all Mustangs in the second half after getting the fumble on the kickoff return. There's Dawson Trudell connecting with Chase Evans on a 28-yard touchdown pass, and then Shea had an eight-yard touchdown run a little bit later on in the third quarter. Right now, they're facing a second and nine at their own 21-yard line. Trudell is under center, turns, pitches off to the right side to Young. Young's going to throw it, overshoots his man, and it is picked off at the 20. 25-yard line as reeling get in on the right hash for the Eagles was George Nwakwu intercepting the pass from the running back Damon Young. They pitched it off to him, threw it downfield. It was too tall, and Nwakwu was there for the interception. That might have been out of the out-of-district playbook as the Eagles will have it at the Mustang 25-yard line, trailing by just a score. Well, if it's in district, I want to see it thrown a little bit deeper downfield. That was going to be about a seven-yard pass right there. So It was a well-drawn-up play. Just the execution wasn't what you wanted it to be. Exactly. Here's Darden in the shotgun. Here comes the pressure. Three right in his face. Rolls out of it. Throws downfield. Has a man wide open at the 12-yard line. Cuts back outside of the five. He's lunging for the end zone, and he stopped just shy of the goal line as Darden rolled off to the left side, looked downfield, found a man wide open on the far side of the football field at the five, and got all the way inside to the three yard line, two yard line, a pickup of 22. Nice job by Darden to keeping his eyes downfield there. Number one, he uh, did a nice job of not being sacked, then looked downfield and made a nice strike there. Here comes the heavy package. You have Darden in the gun with two backs to his right and one behind him. Turn, handoff, Allen leaping for the end zone and he is stuffed. Got a yard as he left his feet, dove for the end zone. Few Mustangs to meet him in the air. Nolan Powell, Matthew Shelby, a huge collision. Pickup of a yard at second and goal. Darden quickly under center, takes the snap, tries to sneak it up the middle, and he's stumped again. Might have got an inch or two. And now they're going to go with the heavy set. The Eagles will send in one of the bigger offensive linemen to serve as the lead block. That's checking in is Christopher Sinistera. Big body up front. And one of the linemen actually limping off the field. Might have been a substitution on that line. Third and goal from a yard out. Darden in the pistol. 
The snap, handoff, Allen, Allen off tackle, left side, got hit in the backfield and lost a yard. The Mustangs come up with the defensive stand. Cole Preston the first to get to him. And now it's decision time for the Eagles and head coach Kerry Bamberg facing a fourth and goal from the one. Non-district, I imagine we're going for it right here. Down by seven, less than three minutes of play in the third, and they will go. The Mustangs trying to get the crowd on their feet. The officials will take a timeout. This is not a timeout for either team. The officials are taking the timeout. And they're yelling at the Eisenhower staff to get off the field as they're approaching. You can't go past the 25-yard line, and they're about the 20. Bamberg's going to come over and talk to his quarterback, Dart, as Dart heads over to the sidelines. Play clock to 20. Now he'll run for it. Gets back towards his team. Fourth and goal at the one. Darden in the gun, heavy set, Darden handoff, Allen, Allen bulldozes into the end zone, a yard out, he is in, and if at first you don't succeed, try and try again, and finally Jawan Jawan Allen punches it in from a yard out. Well, Kingwood made that interesting though, didn't they? (laughs) Yeah, they did, nice job by them right there of of bowing up, and and at the end of the day, they ended up giving up a touchdown, but nice job by them of holding them three downs and not only giving up, but about a yard right there. Keep in mind, Eisenhower missed an extra point earlier in the game. As we said earlier on special teams, you don't take anything for granted. Gerald Lombos, his second extra point try. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. No good, he missed again. Second time in a row, he's missed the extra point. Kingwood leads by one. It's 13 to 12, 228 left to play in the third quarter. So you listen, watch Kingwood football on Texan Live. Allspaws is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But Allspaws is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. It's Bert. And Jamie. During our summer clearance event, we need to move, move, move our 2015s. And you can count on a big selection. A team dedicated to treating you better and low prices. Like new Sierra Cruze discounted $12,400. That's right, folks. That's over 31%. And we have hundreds to choose from. Or a new Acadia for $2.99 a month. Thanks for making us one of the fastest growing dealerships in the nation. Text them Buick GMC located Highway 59 in Will Clayton. Or shop 24-7. Texandrive.com. We We treat you better. better. Alongside Burt Brocker, I'm Jeremy Branham from the broadcast booth at Turner Stadium in Humble. Mustangs lead the Eagles 13 to 12. We've seen three missed extra points out of four tries. The Eagles with two of them, and that's why they're down by one. Getting set to kick this one away. Pasha's Charlambos. You know he's going to have a little more oomph than this one after missing the last extra point to keep his team down by one. It's a pooch kick over to the near side. Coming on is Griffin Lay, and Lay's just going to watch it go out of bounds. Flags fly. Be curious to see what they do here. Could you get the ball on the 25 now so they can either take the ball on the 30 or make them re-kick? Let's see what they do here. But when you have Griffin Lay back there, whenever you have Shea Wu back there, uh, I, I, I'd i like to get them to kick it to me another time. Well, looks like the coach has made his decision. Well, the way you're moving the ball, though, Outside on the kicking team, number 30 is declined. They will. Kick out of bounds. Number six on the kicking team is accepted. Five yards added on from the 25. First down. There was a pair of flags. There was offsides on the kicking team, and then there was the kick out of bounds on the kicking team. They declined the first. They will elect the. They will accept the second. And this drive will begin at their own 30-yard line with 2:28 to play in the third quarter. And the Mustangs still leading by a point, 13 to 12. First down and 10. 
Trudell, the motion man's lay. Hand off. Shea Wu right up the gut across the 35. Tripped up past the 40. Falls forward across the first down marker to the 41 yard line. Couple of Eagles a little slow to get up. Elijah Haywood leading the surge for the Eagles, but he took a heavy brunt of the blow laid by Shea Wu. It's a pickup of 11 and a Mustang first down. Wood now, a little slower to the huddle. Take a little bit of this time. 2.05 to play in the third quarter. Clock winding down. Trudeau under center. A couple of backs behind him. Young and Shewu. Motion man lay left to right. Turned off. Hand off Shewu. Again up the middle. Tripped up. Falls forward. Shy of the 45. They'll mark him down at the 44. Malik Robinson got a finger on the shoe. Bringing him down after a pickup of three. About a minute and a half to go on the third. Trudell leading the Mustangs under center again. Fakes the pitch, hands it off to lay on the counter, and it is sniffed out. Jadine Fontenot sniffed out the play, brings down Lay for a loss. Back to the Mustang. 41-yard line, loss of three. That little backside counter, Crave, has worked really well tonight, but boy, right there, great defense is stuffing that one up. So, going to bring up a third down, and we'll call it 10, 10 and a half. Under a minute to play in the third. Mustangs lead by one, 13 to 12. Trudeau has a pair of receivers out to the right side with Young behind him, and Shea to the right shoulder of Young. Trudell, the snap, quarterback draw up the middle, has room across the 45, 50, first down and more into Eisenhower territory, across the 40, 35, 30, looks for the sideline, spin move back towards the numbers, and he's tripped up, falls down at the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of 35 yards for the Mustangs and deep into Eagle territory. Jeremy, you heard me talk about it earlier. When you got that defense like that, power rushing, trying to get to that quarterback, and they clearly were. They were three yards in a less than a second, it looked like right there. Quarterback draw, that's the second time we've seen that play, and both times picked up big yardage. Malik Robinson, the touchdown saving tackle for the Eagles. Judah under center. Hand off Shea Wu, sprints over to the left side, try to cut back in, spins off one, and then he's plopped down from behind as delivering the blow was Braylon Jefferson. Man down for the Eagles. It's also the end of the third quarter. After three from Turner Stadium in Humble, the Mustangs lead the Eagles 13 to 12. Come back for the fourth quarter on Texan Live. Cerna is a local family owned business located right on Will Clayton and a one stop shop for your home, auto, liability, and business insurance needs. Please stop in or give us a call at 281 812 9775. We're also proud to support all of the Humble ISD athletes. There was a penalty on the last play of the quarter. A holding penalty will back him up 10 yards to the 35. They'll run one play here, no time, other than they will start the 25-second clock. Didn't see the flag thrown. Well, actually, they're putting four seconds back on the clock. So They're going to put four seconds and then wind it on the whistle, and that will take us to the end of the third quarter. Mustangs lead the Eagles 13 to 12, fourth and final quarter. Come join next on Texan Live. It's Bert. And Jamie. During our summer clearance event, we need to move, move, move our 2015s. And you can count on a big selection. A team dedicated to treating you better and low prices. Like new Sierra Cruz discounted $12,400. That's right, folks. That's over 31%. And we have hundreds to choose from. Or a new Acadia for $2.99 a month. Thanks for making us one of the fastest growing dealerships in the nation. Texan Buick GMC located Highway 59 in Will Clayton. Or shop 24-7. TexanDrive.com. We, we treat you better. better. The body is incredibly powerful. It's nimble and fluid, but sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our Iron Man Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. We are a body of experts. Memorial Hermann, advancing health.
fourth and final quarter from Turner Stadium in Humble. Alongside Burt Brocker, I'm Jeremy Branham. The Mustangs lead by one, 13 to 12 over Eisenhower. The holding penalty at the end of the third quarter backs him up. First down and 20 at their own at the Eagle 35 yard line. Under center Trudell, a couple of backs behind him, receiver to each side. Trudell the snap, drops back, looks to throw, pressure right in his face, rolls out of pressure. Across the 45, looks for the sidelines, the 40, across the 35, and dips out of bounds, just shy of the 30-yard line. Forced out of bounds by Toscotti Shepard, and also out there for the Eagles, forcing out the quarterback, Colton Moore. But, you know, I talked about it now, they've ran the quarterback draw twice. Man, this defensive line is just getting after the quarterback. I mean, he literally is having no time to set his feet at all and even look downfield. He's having to, Trudell's having to scramble for his life almost from Jump Street there. Gets a pickup of four yards out of nothing. Second down and 16, the Eagle 31-yard line. Quick handoff. It goes to Young, spin off to the right side, makes a man miss as he goes towards the sideline across the 25-yard line, across the 20 as he's forced out of bounds by Ernest Anderson. Gets to the 17, it's a pickup of 14 yards, and suddenly it's a third and short after facing first and 20. Well, third and short early, they tried to throw a pass and was sacked, so be real curious to see what call Coach Campbell and his crew dials up here. Third down and two. Ball at the 17-yard line, they need the Eagle 15. Trudell jogs under center. He has Young directly behind him. Shea to the left shoulder of Young. One receiver split out wide left. Motion man is lay. Hand off Shea up the middle. Cuts inside for the first down. Now he's at the 10, 5, and lunges into the end zone as he sheds Eagles along the way to find pay dirt from 17 yards out and adding to the Mustang lead. And Mustang fans, you need to vote. That is the exact reason that he's up for player of the week. He did the same thing last week in the Friendswood game. So don't forget, you got until Sunday night at midnight to vote. And if he wins, he'll actually be featured on the Fox Sports Southwest show next Friday night. That's a live TV show. It's from 11 to midnight. And we'll go talk more about it as soon as it snap. Good hold, good kick. That's good. Kingwood, after the second touchdown by Shea extends the lead to 20 to 12. 11.39 left to play in the fourth quarter. Let's see how Eisenhower responds when we come back on Texan Live. Allspas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But Allspas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware and so much more. 11.39 left in the fourth. Kingwood leads it 20-12. to 12. Don't forget tomorrow night to tune in to Fox Sports Southwest from 11 to midnight for the Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive. Howard Chen, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, Courtney Madden. The Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive, 11 to midnight tomorrow. Boy, last week was so fun, you decided to do it again, huh? Yeah. You know, and we actually signed I, I signed a contract with them. We got this for 14 episodes So every Friday night, the show will be from 11 to midnight. It will wrap up the Houston plays that are highlights. There'll be some big games, and and it's just a neat deal. It was an opportunity this year to bring it. There's been a Dallas show for quite a few years, and they got with us, had an opportunity to sign a contract with them. So very proud we were able to pull that off and bring you Great Houston high school sports right here from the Houston area. Diego Garcia kicking it away as the Eagles get a return across the 25 near the 30-yard line. Goes Malik Robinson. It gets to the 29. That's where the Eagles will set up shop. Trailing still by just a score, but down by 8, 20-12. to 11.33 to play in the fourth. So Jalon Durden. We've seen his athleticism has not necessarily translated to a ton of points for the Eagles as they trail by eight. Remember last year, the Eagles were down 10-0 to Kingwood in the fourth quarter. They would rally, scored 14 unanswered points and one by four. Darden, handoff Allen, sweeping right across the 30, up the numbers to the 40, 45, looks for the sidelines across the 50, 40, 35, and he's shoved out of bounds by Nolan Powell, the safety. A huge gain on the play. 
as the Eagles take it deep into Mustang territory to the 31-yard line. Well, what speed for a big man he has. 40 yards on the play. First and 10 at the Mustang 31. 11.24 to play in the fourth. Darden in the gun, Allen to the left shoulder. Motion man from right to left, fake the handoff hill. Darden's going to sprint out to the right side across the 30. Cuts outside towards the sideline. He's tripped up and wrapped up and brought down. Flags behind the play. Evan Loika, the junior linebacker on the stop. Looks like going to be holding those, so that's going to back them up 10 yards. You were mentioning earlier about all these holding penalties and how most of them have been behind the play. That was a perfect example. I mean, the holding was five yards behind Jalen Darden. You know, some of the other games we'll be covering tomorrow night, Channel View versus Aldine, Oak Ridge versus Deer Park, Humble versus Crosby, Shepard versus Huffman, and Barbers Hill versus Dayton. So got a big lineup, got a lot going on tomorrow here in, in Houston getting ready for what next week will be full-blown district games. The district play has come, but it's hard to imagine. It seemed like yesterday the start of the season was upon us, and now we're starting to crank up district play in the Houston area. Before you know it, it'll be – Playoff time. And it will. It's literally a blink, and we're there. Here's Darden throwing over to the near side. He short hops Robinson, threw it at his feet. Robinson could never get to it. Incomplete pass. To be honest with you, though, Preston was right there in the face of Robinson. I'm not sure how far he goes if Robinson makes the grab. Yeah, and that was a nice job right there, you know, of him throwing that ball in the ground because he clearly, if he leaves that ball hanging at all, it very easily could be picked off. So nice job right there. Second and 20. Eagles have it at the Mustang 41-yard line. 11 minutes on the nose, left to play. He's darting in the gun. He has two receivers each way. Motion man right to left. Handed off to the motion man, Williams. Williams up the seams across the 40. And he's wrapped up shy of the 35-yard line by a Toro Nowoko. Give him five yards in the play to the 36. And if he doesn't make a stop there, that could have been a big gain. So nice job by him of getting off his inside position and getting out there and making an open field tackle right there by the big man. Third and, tw- third and 15 from the Mustang 36. Kind of in no man's land right here. Probably four down territory. Yeah, you would think. Here's Dart rolling out to the right side. Pressure in his face will throw it away. Closest receiver who was not really in the play was Jawan Williams. Darden had pressure in his face, didn't like the uh, what he had downfield, and just threw it into the Eisenhower sideline. Here See, comes the punt team. They'll try to pin him deep and play some defense. Well, and this will be the second time they've done that. And, you know, and again, you got the ball. Even if you only pick up 15 to 25 yards, it's still the right play here. You know, you want, you want Kingwood and outside of the two possessions to start this half. Uh, you know, it, it's been a completely different offense for the Mustangs this second half. Robinson is on to punt. He stands in midfield. Nobody back deep for Kingwood. Three seconds of the play clock. They just get it off. Robinson takes the snap. An end-over-end kick that will bounce at the eight. Sidewards bounce, and they pin him deep. It is down inside the five-yard line by Larry Risher, the senior. But what a great punt right there to pin them deep, and that's exactly what they were playing for. At this point, it's a one-possession game, down by eight. You got 10 minutes here to go left in the ball game, so plenty of time. You still have two of your timeouts, so you want to put them in a situation where if you don't turn the ball over right there, you know, it very easily they had the ball on the 30, 35-yard line, and we saw what happened right before halftime where Kingwood tried to kick a long field goal Basically, four-play possession went down, minute 40 seconds, and scored a long touchdown, 70-plus yards. 31-yard punt, no return. Mustangs first and 10 at their own four-yard line. Trudell, oh, motion. They went to hand it off to Young, but before that, flags flying. Offense. Whistles blowing, and as you hear it, that's on Griffin Lay, the flanker moving early. That's going to back him up to the two. First and 12. 
Yeah, I heard your name. There we go. <laughs> Here's Trudell under center. Trudell just to sneak right up the middle to try to get some breathing room. He does as he falls forward. There's about four or five Mustangs. Trudeau says he's still on his feet. He's trying to roll out of the scrum and roll it, run forward, but the official's not falling forward. Does give him a little breathing room, a pickup of three to the five. Well, when you're on the two, you bobble a snap and you got a safety, and all of a sudden that eight-point lead went down to where now you touchdown away from being tied, yeah. extra point away from being down. So nice job by Trudell right there moving forward and that offensive line of giving them some breathing room here. Approaching the nine-and-a-half-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Trudell with a pair of backs behind him under center, and there's some motion up front as J Jadine Fontenot just went right through the offensive line. Encroachment the call unless King would jump before. They're pointing Eisenhower's direction. Yep, and on the def on the offense that was offsides, it was only about a two and a half yard penalty. They regained those two and a half on first down on a quarterback sneak. Now they pick up five, so it's going to bring up a second down and five, which is a very manageable position for the Mustangs. Yeah, a play ago you were looking at a first and 12 from your own two. Now it's second and four from your own 10, a lot more manageable. Trudell, handoff. It goes to Young. Young up the middle. Across the 10, and he stopped just shy of the 15-yard line at the 14. Tackle made by Terrence Oliver. It's picked up a four. This could be right near the marker. We're going to say just short. 8.50 to go here in this ball game. Each team has two timeouts left. Third down and one. Mustangs at their own 14. Seen the sneak a few times in the situation. Here's Trudeau under center. They jumped. False start. Again, it was going to be the sneak. And Trudell would have had the distance for the first down, but some movement on that offensive line. Let's listen to the call. It's on Luke Vodder's the tackle. The right tackle, or the right guard, rather, moving on that right side. Back him up five yards. And those are the kind of penalties that if you're a coach, you want to have right now. But I can promise you, whenever you go back and look at film study, these are the penalties once we move into district. You know, they're the kind of penalties that can cost you ball games. And last year, Kingwood was one game away from making the playoffs. So as you go back, I mean, one of the things that Coach Kim will probably immediately do is, guys, we got to stop the penalties. Pitch out. It goes to Lay, running to the right side, tries to bounce for the sideline, breaks a tackle, and he's hit out of bounds. Boy, just shy of the 15 he needed for the first down. They're going to spot it at the 14-yard line. He's a yard short. Tackle forced out of bounds by Braylon Jefferson, the defensive lineman getting back to shove lay out of bounds. That's, that's great hustle by the D tackle. Great coverage tonight by Kingwood AV Department. Looks like the offense is staying in here, so here we go, baby. It clearly is a non-district game. Fourth and one at their own 14. Heavy package, eye formation. They're trying to get the defense to bite. And there was movement up front, I think, on the offense. Both sides are pointing opposite ways. Did Kingwood get Eisenhower to come across the line? For They did. Kingwood's clapping encroachment on the defensive line for Eisenhower. I don't think Kingwood was ever going to snap it. I think they were trying to bite, hit, make them bite with the hard count, and it worked to perfection. Well, if they were going to snap it, <laughs> what a big call that would have been. So Riverboat gambler. But the hard count gets them to bite, and they move the chains that way. 8-10 and counting. The Mustangs will have it now at their own 19-yard line, but facing a first down and 10. Again, a heavy set with Amar back there, the fullback. Pitch out to Shewu. Shewu off the tackle. Now cuts it back inside across the 20 to the 22-yard line. A pickup of three yards on the play. <laughs> and as the home of Humble ISD audio and video rights this year, you know, this is what we're looking for. If you're the Kingwood Mustangs, you want to see a drive here. Going to be under right at seven minutes when they snap this ball. And you want to see them work this clock, work this possession, do a good job of methodically working it down and, of course, ultimately trying to find some way to get points on the board to make it a two-possession game, which in theory would probably put you somewhere around three, three-and-a-half minutes to go in the ballgame. 
7.15 left to play. Fake the handoff. They'll give it to Glay. Lay off the guard right side, lunging for yards. And gets a couple out to the 25, hanging on and finally bringing him down, Malik Robinson. Pickup of a pair to the 24. Also delivering a hit, Ernest Anderson before Robinson was able to complete the tackle. 6.47, fourth quarter. Nice job by Lea keeping his legs turning there and managing to pick up. He was hit about a yard in the backfield and still going to pick up about a yard, yard and a half. So here we go, third down and manageable. Trudell, offset eye. Takes the snap, draw up the middle, makes a man miss as he cuts outside of the 25, looks for the sidelines, and then spins and falls, kind of sliding down at the 31. That's good for the first down as he gets it across the 30-yard line. Once again, that defensive line going to get after it. And nice job by the coaches upstairs saying, hey, let's, let's keep going to the well. So far, they haven't been able to prove they can stop us. And, and let's go back with that play. That's the third time tonight. And all three times they picked up a first down. So nice job by the coaching staff up in the box. And, of course, Coach Campbell down on the field making the call. Trudell coming up a little lame. He's still holding Barry Campbell, the head coach. And it looks like Kingwood's going to take this all the way down to one second. Didn't take the timeout and then figure out what they want to do with the quarterback spot. Maybe they get Trudell back and Abel during the timeout. We'll take it with them. 5.55, all that's left in the fourth quarter. Mustangs lead the Eagles 20-12 to on Texan Live. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we've been just a little mom and pop barbecue joints. Where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, Chicken that's cooked fresh every day. Ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey. And then we do like 15 side dishes and the side dishes are all from scratch. On Friday and Saturday night we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. Well, the Houston broadcast scene lost a legend today. Milo Hamilton, Astros play-by-play -play guy for so many years, passing away. And, boy, it's tough to say because you, you grow up and you're around. You hear Milo Hamilton on your airwaves for so long. And, boy, it, it feels like you lost a friend when you heard about the passing of Milo this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it, and it just hits home because, you know, I, our tickets were right in front of him. So, of course, just listening to him over and over and over do games, and it just – what a phenomenal man. What a phenomenal broadcaster. And, you know, like you said, what a legend, too, calling Houston Astros baseball. So, and Holy um, Toledo, what a game we have today. <laughs> 5.55 to play in the fourth. Mustangs lead by eight. There will be a new quarterback. It's T.J. West, the senior. He's not played much this year. He turns and hands it off to Shea Shea off the right side. Makes a man miss across the 40 to the 45 to the sidelines. And finally forced out of bounds by Malik Robinson. A pickup of 14 yards on the play and move the chains for the Mustangs. Boy, this drive started with 10-10 left to play in the fourth. And right now the clock frozen at 549 after Shea gets it out of bounds. Trudell down there with the trainers. Hopefully he's okay. He's a big part of this team. T.J. West. Turning, handing it off. Up the middle, Shewu across midfield, across the 45, and a late flag. Well, that's on the staff of Eisenhower. Tackle by Malik Robinson. Flag is down on the Eisenhower sideline, out by the numbers, and there was nobody in the vicinity. The ball right now spotted at the 44. It's a pickup of 10. Sideline interference call there. The sideline interference will move the ball. So it'll be 11 yard gain plus, I think that's a 15 yard penalty if I'm not mistaken, so. Yep. Ball will be placed down all the way down on the 29-yard line. 540 to go here in this ball game. Clock moving. Well, what a costly penalty. Clock continues to roll. We're under five and a half now. By the time they snap the ball, the Mustangs will have the football on this drive for over five minutes. TJ West, the backup quarterback. 
Fullback Robert Amars in, and now timeout Eisenhower. 16 seconds on the play clock. 5.20 left to play in the fourth. Mustangs lead the Eagles 20-12 to on Texan Live. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we've been just a little mom and pop barbecue joint. Where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, chicken that's cooked fresh every day, ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey, and then we do like 15 side dishes, and the side dishes are all from scratch. On Friday and Saturday night, we have live music. We'll have a band playing outside. So if you get a chance, come by and see me. You've been to TexanLive.com? If not, I'm here to tell you that TexanLive.com is the new home for high school sports. Check us out at TexanLive.com. 5.20 in the fourth quarter. Alongside Burt Brocker, I'm Jeremy Branham in the broadcast booth at Turner Stadium. Full crew out tonight. Reed Harmon really doing all the hard work. Lou Resch hanging out with us as well, making our job easy. 5.20 left to play in the fourth, and Kingwood leads by eight. And they've had the football for just under five minutes. They're now inside the Eisenhower 30. First and 10 at the Eagle 29. Looks like they're going to reset the 25-second clock here, which they will. Clock at 520. You got the big package in with Amar blocking for Shewu. Pitch to Shewu. Sprints out to the left side. Cuts inside at the hash. Falls forward near the 25. He's brought down just shy of that to the 26. A pickup of three on the first down play by Shewu. Stopped by Elijah Haywood coming from that safety spot. Alana Lou is up for player of the week. For all you Mustang fans out there, go and vote as many times as you can. We got him going. He'll be all the way up until Sunday night at midnight. And once again, it's for the game that he had and a great game it was. And Jeremy, you'll touch on his stats here in just a minute. Let's watch this play. 442 left to play. Motion man, Griffin Lay. They pitch to him. Fake the handoff on the reverse. Boy, he's got nowhere to run, and he's forced out of bounds. Shoved by Elijah Haywood. And why that's important. Forcing him out of bounds. Stops the clock, and it sticks at 435 left instead of just going down and keeping the top the clock winding. Well, and that's one looking back on that play, had he all the pursuit was on this side, so. Once again, with this aggressive defense, kind of surprised they didn't run the reverse right there because it looked like had a lot of open field on the other side. But they did not. Brings up a third down. Like you said, we'll call it nine. Yeah, third and nine at their own 29. 4.35 left, 13 on the play clock. T.J. West back up quarterback in for the banged up Trudell. Turn, handoff, Shewu. Shewu falls forward across the 25 to the 24-yard line. He picks up five, but he's well, sure, well short of the first down. Well, I thought they may go for a field goal here, being they tried a long one. But looks like he's going to keep the offense on the field. It'll bring up fourth down, and we'll call it five here, five and a half. And yeah, needs the 20. He needs just past the 20 for the first down. 4.08 left. Kingwood's had the ball for over six minutes. They lead by eight. Trudell, here's the motion man leg. Hand off Shewu. Shewu up the middle, doesn't have enough room, won't come close. Tackle is made and he's brought down after a pickup of a couple. Late flag thrown. Tackle up front by Jadon Fontenot and Terrence Oliver. Boy, we got to check that late flag. This could be a, bra a backbreaker for Eisenhower. It came well after the play. The officials are talking about it. Just got an update over out of the Cy Woods game. Cy falls up 43 to 20 in the third over Cy Woods. They're looking good. Here, here's the dilemma with this play. It's a post play penalty. So the turnover on downs has happened. Even if this goes against Eisenhower, it'll, tack, it'll move them further back for, the with the ball. Dead ball. Hurt the foul. Number 99 of the defense. Number 99 disqualified wow. himself for the ball game. At the distance, first down, Eisenhower. So there you have it. Jaden Fontenot is called for the unsportsmanlike penalty and has been ejected from the game with 3.55 to play in the fourth quarter. It was a post-play penalty. So the turnover on downs happened before the penalty, and now Eisenhower will be backed up half a distance to the goal from 
the spot after the turnover on downs. And it'll be first and 10 from there. And let's move it to the 12, and that's where this drive will begin. It will be a first and 10, though, since it's to begin the drive. Barry Campbell wants an explanation, so he'll get one with the officials at the 25-yard line. Give us a good chance to remind you about our games tomorrow. It's Texan Live, your new home for Houston High School Sports. We have you covered five games throughout the city tomorrow night. Just on the broadcast schedule, lots more footage that we'll have for you on the Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show. Katie home from A Creek, Langham Creek against Cy Ranch. And that more on TexanLive.com. And then a Houston, Houston, the Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show presented by Texan Drive, 11 to 12 midnight on Fox Sports Southwest. Now the officials will go over to the far side and have a chat with Eisenhower head coach, Kerry Bamberg, as he wants an explanation as well. You find that often the case with head coaches. You talk to one, the other wants to be talked to as well. Well, and that's the right thing to do. You know that. If you were the head coach on either side, you want to know what the play was. You want to know if you're on the offensive side, you know, when did it transpire, which in this case it was after the play. Then naturally, because of that, it's still a turnover on downs. And then, of course, on the other side, you want to know why he was ejected. So there's several different things going on down there that they're having to talk about because Jackson's a big deal. I mean, I'm not so sure in high school that you don't miss a game after you've been ejected, and I need clarification on that rule. But I know they did make some change to a player being adjusted or ejected. Excuse me. Yeah, you get, there's no, no room for that. Here's Dard leading the Eagles. With 3.55 left, trailing by eight. They'll have him in the shotgun. Robert Brown, the motion man. Hand off to Brown. The ball comes loose. Brown jumps right on top of it. There's a flag down as well. Brown jumped on it inside his five at the three-yard line. We'll have to check the flag, but as it stands now, it's a loss of nine. And they're pointing Kingwood. They're asking the Kingwood coaching staff what they want. So this was an Eisenhower penalty. It was a chop block, but Kingwood was going to decline it. They rather have the backup of nine yards to the three and make it second down. Second down and 19. Eisenhower inside their own five-yard line. Darden will be all alone in the shotgun. He has four receivers to each side. And tied in on the right side. Darden takes the snap, drops back, looking right. Now will roll over to the near side, looking downfield. Still looking. Now will tuck it and dip out of bounds at the fifth at the uh, five-yard line. Got a couple, but when you're facing a second and 19, a couple is not going to do much. Well, and that was a nice job by the Mustang defense right there. They had everybody blanket covered it. You know, you know the talent of Darden. You've seen how many times tonight he's broken several tackles, but they stayed with their man because he's clearly tonight managed to weave his way through and then find an open receiver. Nice job by the Mustangs defense there of not giving up a, any kind of passing play and just giving up two yards on second and long. Third down and 17. Darden. The shotgun fires it over the middle, has a man, and it's caught for the first down across the 25-yard line to the 26. It's reeled in by James Johnson, who was all alone between the hashes. Had to be drop coverage there, because like you said, he was all alone. A pickup to the 27-yard line, a gain of 22 on the play. Darden in the gun this time. He has a back to his right shoulder, to the right. One receiver to the near, fakes the handoff, rolls right, pressure in his face, now over to the near side, gets away from the on suit. Now he scrambles all the way to the back, and he's finally wrapped up and brought down for a huge loss. Colton Moore with the sack. They'll give him forward progress to the 18-yard line, but that's a loss of nine yards. Well, the Mustangs defense did a great job there of keeping pursuit on him. They just kept him boxed in and eventually made the tackle. But once again, you see him darting around there and, you know, breaking tackles. Darton's done a phenomenal job of breaking tackles tonight. Darton, Jalon Darton, 2.24 to play in the fourth. 20-12, to 12, Kingwood by eight. Darden dropping back, looking to throw. Throw it to the flats to Allen. Allen across the 20 to the 25, and 
He gets tackled. Here comes a flag. It's a horse collar. Yep. They horse collar tackled him out of bounds near the 25-yard line. And while it was a modest gain of seven, the horse collar, the horse collar penalty, the personal foul, 15 yards, automatic first down, first down, and the Eagles will get the first down and move the chains. The flag came from the back judge. Yep. They picked the flag up. They said no horse collar. Well, and that's, that's they did a good job there. They got together. We couldn't see it from here, and, you know, that's one thing about these officiating crews. They get together, and they try to make the right call there. And, you know, it just was too far for us to see what it was. But uh, good job by them of getting together and, and making the final decision. So to bring up a third down and 12 here. Ball the 25, darting in the gun, rolls over to the near side, looking downfield, gets a good block. Now he'll run forward, gets hit, comes off, and now gets hit again and is brought down. He shook him at first, but not the second time, as Davis Kendick brings him down at the 25. No gain on the play. And with a minute 52 left and the clock winding down, Eisenhower is going to leave the offense on the field, facing a fourth down and a dozen. Well, and they only got one timeout, too, so pretty much a do-or-die situation here for them. 16 seconds left on the play clock, and it looks like they're not going to use the timeout. Darton's in the gun. Fourth and 12, this is the game. Darton takes the snap, looking to throw. Here comes some pressure. Darton rolling out of it. Darton to the near side. Darton nearly tripped up, still on the sidelines. Now will throw it downfield, and it's incomplete, not even close. And the Kingwood Mustangs have turned the Eagles over on downs. And with an eight-point lead and a minute 17 left, they'll have to kill the clock. Well, this will be victory formation. Let's see here, though. Looks like there may have been... Illegal formation, so it looked like that'll be declined. So, yep. So, Mustangs will take over on downs. Ball be placed down right there on the 25 yard line. They're basically two, maybe three snaps away from ball game here. So, everybody giving high fives here, low fives as we call them. Well, that's going to. Bring the Mustang offense on the field. First and 10 at the Eagle 25-yard line. And do the math. A minute 17 left. The Eagles have one timeout left. You have the 40-second play clock. And this is pretty much Mustangs don't fumble the snap. This one's going to be done. Yeah, I'd be really surprised to not see the victory formation come in here. It will be the backup quarterback, T.J. West. That will be under center. And it does look like the victory formation. Let's see, oh, official just took a fall. I think that yard line got him. <laughs> the green turf monster. <laughs> and his buddy wiping off uh, the back of his referee uniform. <laughs> so TJ West takes the snap, drops it to an E. And the Eagles will not bother with the timeout. They'll have one more kneel down to make this one final. And the Mustangs realizing that the outcome has been determined. And they're starting to celebrate on the near sideline. Twenty to twelve, Mustangs by eight. Under fifty seconds now. One more snap will do it. Trudell and victory. Or check that, T.J. West, victory formation, takes the snap, puts it on a knee. The Eagles will not use their final timeout. And the Kingwood Mustangs finish out of district play with a 2-2 two two record. The Eagles fall to 1-3. Final score from Turner Stadium in Humble. Mustangs 20, Eagles 12. Burt, your thoughts? Really nice job of Mustangs going in, getting their thoughts together, come out, first two possessions, score touchdowns. Third possession, turn, or you know, punt the ball. Fourth possession, score a touchdown. So nice job by Coach Campbell and his coaching staff to get a game plan. You know, one of the things, though, that I'd like to see just coming from out of this district, I'd like to see them have a little better game plan in first and second quarter. This is two weeks in a row that the offense has really looked off kilter and then the second half come out with blazing guns. So like to see 
little more game plan put together on that first half. But end of day, they get the job done. They get the victory. Moves them to two and two. They got to feel really good about themselves going into district play next week. Kingwood will open up district at Oak Ridge next Saturday. Eisenhower opens up district play against Nimitz. Again, tomorrow night, the Houston High School football wrap-up show closes out an exciting night of football. Five games throughout the city on TexanLive.com. You know, the Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive from 11 to midnight. Well, that's going to do it from us from Thorne Stadium. For our whole crew, Reed Harmon, Lou Resch, Burt Brocker, I'm Jeremy Brand. I'm telling you that the I's have been dotted, the T's have been crossed. This one is in the books. It's Kingwood knocking off Eisenhower 20 to 12. Until tomorrow night in Texan Live, so long from Turner Stadium in Humble. Thanks, everyone.